And today we are sponsored by Monarch Social. Are you looking to take the next step and get your own website? Look no further than Monarch Social, affordable, cutting edge, and designed with user experience in mind. Monarch Social will not only get your website started for you, they can also host it and get you up, get you set up with a starter SEO package. Head over to monarchsocialbrand.com for more information. Dark Prime Collectibles. Guys, listen, if you're into Magic the Gathering or, or Dungeons and Dragons, associated games along those lines, they are returning to in-store play near the end of this month, June. So if you're looking to get back into the swing of things, get your commander deck up and running, and you want new people to play with, check out Dark Prime Collectibles. They're amazing, friendly. They'll teach you all the new stuff. They have product for you to purchase and much, much more. You can check them out on darkprimecollectibles.com or their location at 354 State Street, Clearfield, Utah, 84015. Last but not least, Happiest, number one place to go for premium CBD that won't break the bank. It is locally owned and sourced here in Utah, and it is safe for work, meaning there's no THC. They have something for everyone, I promise you that. Head over to happiestmed.com, that is H-E-P-I-U-S-M-E-D.com. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. Calford? Sponsored? Yes! <laughs> Wait! It's been a hot it's been minute! A minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> when did we last see each other? January or was it? It was because I know I had just moved, so it had to yeah. have been January. Yeah, you came on by yourself, and we. God, it was right. Is that Bieber? I love Bieber. Bieber. I love you. Bieber. Oh, I love. Bieber. It was right in the transition of I think your jobs. Yeah, when I was doing that electrician Ooh. shit. Yeah. yeah. So that was around that time. Yeah, so that been, was a while ago. Yeah, about half a year. I don't work there anymore, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the ball really started rolling. We got one sponsor, then quickly a second, and now we're up to our third. And wow, things are going pretty smooth over here. Yeah. And tonight is the first, not only revealing of the new logo, which is down here in the corner on your guys' bottom left if you're watching live, but a whole entire new look. <gasps> so I hope yeah. you guys like it. I hope. Uh, Please give me feedback so I can change things if you don't like it. Wow, wow. I'm Vanna Whiting the entire <laughs> thing. Can I get a W? Can I get a W? This I mean, for a thousand. <laughs> and then you roll bankrupt and then you go home and just... And cry yourself yeah. to sleep. <laughs> um, I'm excited to have both of you on though because you you two have duoed this podcast, what, like three or four times? Three yeah, times, I, I think, uh, yeah a few done. times, but it's always been like... Every once, every 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 blue moon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the stars align. <laughs> I mean, I think that. Gosh, I'm trying to remember. You guys came here, and did an episode before this new studio. Mm -hmm. When you were doing the what was it the 24 hour? Yeah. The 24 hour podcast. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which was. <laughs> um, that was a lot of that was a lot of talking. A lot of stuff going. And on. then, um, hey, you guys been on multiple times together at the old studio. Mm -hmm. I look, he missed that studio. Oh, I, I do too. <laughs> You're like, I do, <laughs> I do tear too. Tear falls down his cheek. This place gives me more room to do stuff, but at the same time, it just doesn't I don't know, feel... that's just like the old studio is like the OG. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also, I mean, you got all this new shit going on that it's like... Yeah. Revamped. I think it looks better. Awesome. It just, yeah. it's that nostalgia feeling of the yeah. old place, because it's like... I was actually going through my pictures, and I got a little teary-eyed, because I had like the first picture of like, what that room looked like before we cleaned it and then our first ever setup which was literally like an hp like 200 dollar walmart laptop a shit mic that i think was like ten dollars <laughs> and like a webcam that we found and uh it looked really bad <laughs> but it's uh it's been it's been fun. Yeah, you're like humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. I'm excited for the next step, which I'm hoping will be an office, like, like an office office. office. Yeah. Or like oh, a studio studio. Yeah, like so a real dope. studio. That'd be so dope. There's a lot of stuff I could do if I had like a real studio, because mm -hmm. then I can do better audio equipment, but then I can actually rent it out for like, you know, people who want to make music. Yeah. Or or you can have like a bunch of bottles in the back, like to the Breakfast Club or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever, whichever podcast or a decision does that, they like, oh, just yeah, have like a yeah. shit ton of bottles of liquor mm -hmm. in the background. I think it would just that be would fun like, too to have like a like a studio. Yeah, where like yeah. you legit just because like if I had to like envision my perfect layout, I, have you guys seen that picture of the laminate floor that has like a Ouija board in it? Yes. Yeah. I want to get something like that and then have it like 
kind of be like paranormal theme throughout the room, but then kind of keep like this vapor wave aesthetic that I'm going for now. Yeah, yeah, kind of like you know, like the blues and the purple, yeah, and all that. I think that looks so dope. If you ever need help figuring out design stuff or just getting it all together, let me know. I'm good at cleaning <laughs> and things like that. Wait, what's I'm that always app? here to help. What's that app called where it's like anonymous? I've never oh, downloaded it. It was app, literally, but... like, it was like, what is it? Like YOLO or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking it up, but apparently it's under maintenance. That's what like I was uh, trying to figure out. You like so, the setup? I'm glad. Oh, Ashley. Well, yeah. Ashley and I are here. Yeah. Ashley. Oh, Alicia, yeah. that's... Yeah. Oh, we, we were talking to the them before. The juice? Yeah. 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 We were just talking to earlier, yeah. like, way earlier, like when an we were, hour like, ago. When we were, like, getting or... ready and everything, we are like, yeah, we're going on a podcast. And they're like, oh, stop, like, drop the link, we'll join. Every time you guys come on, I just get so juiced. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Juiced! This is the best. <laughs> yeah! Uh, Bieber was asking, did you dye your hair silver? Yeah, so my hair is silver, it's gray. Um, we just toned it. Right <laughs> we just water. toned it right before... <laughs> Well, as soon as we got out of the pool, we toned my hair. She was, like, applying the toner. and Because it was, like, a yellow, blonde, gross, like, yeah, you know, like. What's your, you're naturally black hair, right? Black hair, yeah. yeah. So so it takes a while to get it to that. Oh, so, I bleached uh, it three times in a night, and then geez. that was last night, and then tonight Cass toned it, so it's. Yeah, it's looking good. Before, when he sent me a picture, I was like, okay, why are you giving me, um, Villain from the first Incredibles vibe. Syndrome. Yeah, it was very orangey, brassy, and yellow, and it. Oh my god! And then I was like, okay, well, you know, I, when she said that, I was like, I gotta bleach it again, and I bleached it again, and then it still kind of stayed yellow. But my sister's roommate is a hair like a stylist. Or, oh, okay. So she's like, yeah, she's like you can only get so far it's gonna stay yellow right. for so long and i'm like well i guess i gotta start toning it so <laughs> what's the longest you've ever had your hair i've never seen you with anything longer than maybe like i had a shaggy embarrassing gross justin bieber haircut in like eighth grade but i only had it for like less than a year and then i during my your emo yeah <laughs> my that's Evanescence how we met <laughs> so i mean we've obviously oh, with times that we're here usually we've talked about like how we've met and it was him during his evanescence emo oh, phase yes and <sighs> that was then Listen, everyone goes through an evanescence phase it's just part of life i'm in my evanescence how long phase. do you do that it's <laughs> been a pain to keep up on so in the past i usually i'll keep it for like three weeks and then just go back to black when my roots start to show but I feel like now I'm just gonna when my I'm gonna let my roots get long enough and then just bleach the roots again and just like you know, keep up keep up with yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And I don't I don't I don't go professionally. I do this all myself. So. Yeah, because I mean, it's it's so expensive. It's oh, like yeah. almost two hundred bucks just to do it in a salon professionally. So I'm like, uh... that's something that blew my mind is when I started looking at because like this is weird to say, but I've always actually been into like hairstyles. Like, especially mm. on the women's side of things with, like, the crazy coloring, because I always thought it was super cool. Not that I would ever pursue a career in it, maybe, like, like for friends and shit, but I never knew the money oh. that it can take. Like, I knew, like, the whole idea of, like, if you have dark hair, it could take multiple sessions before you can actually get, like, a darker, like, a tr drastic change in color. Yeah. I didn't realize that some people were dropping, like, a grand... Oh, yeah. You know, a it's grand expensive. plus. See, when my mom wanted to get her hair permed a couple years ago, it was like almost 500 bucks. And we just went to Sally's and bought all the stuff for ourselves. She's like, can you do it? And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can yeah, do it. Well, yeah. And I perm her hair once a year now. And it's just, it saves her so much money. Because you buy the products once, you can use it for yeah. the year after and whatever. And I remember the first piece of content I ever saw you do was actually you dyeing your hair. I oh, uh, I, pri like, I, I privated that video on YouTube a long time ago. Are just, you serious? Yeah, I'm an OG. I caught that video before. It got yeah, private. you're like, oh, you screen record it. You're like, I'll remember this. I don't, I don't know why you private it. I remember being a good. I don't video. know. I just I was young back then, and I don't know. It's just one of those like I was young. It's not a dumb video, like. Oh. I just know I can make a better video than that because mm. it was all just sped up and stuff and it, it was like we a two minute video so <laughs> I get that 100% because I can't go back and watch my old episodes oh. yeah because I'm like Ugh. you're like oh. <laughs> except uh, oh god oh, oh, wait. Yeah, sure. yeah 
Sam yeah, still in my same. evanescence phase. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, if Bieber wanted to go get her hair dyed to like a light color, it would be oh, it'd be so, so much money. expensive. So much money. That's why, because I mean, I also like I do my own hair and everything. Yeah, and I keep up with it, but it's mostly like since my hair is kind of like. It's like a dark blonde, basically. It's not mm-hmm. quite, like, brown. That I'm able to keep up with it with kind of, like, putting a lighter color in that has some sort of, like, bleach tone in it. Right. So it lightens it. And then I have more of kind of, like, a red shampoo that occasionally when I see that it starts to kind of fade, I'll put it in and everything. Because also I have, like, um, like redheads like run in my family and yeah. my mom's strawberry blonde and so that kind of shows up in my hair so it's pretty easy to just like keep that mom, up crystal yeah crystal crystal Shessa crystal. crystal love you apparently she told she just texted me today that she was on a zoom call for her uh work because i just recently did this uh like mc thing and apparently mm-hmm. somebody called her they're like oh are you cass's mom and she's like she texted me, she's like, somebody called, called me, uh, your mom, and she's like, I've never been more proud. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, no. mother. What was the MC about? Um, so basically, a while back, like a while, while, and by a while, while, I mean junior year of high school, oh, shit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started doing this Man Woman of the Year campaign for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Okay. And, um... I started doing it because my mom was working. She started working there probably like a few years earlier. And so she was kind of like working with that campaign specifically. Mm -hmm. And so I was volunteering a lot and I met a lot of people through that. And they were like, hey, what would be fun is if we like, because you have to be nominated. Right. And they're like, if we nominated you for this campaign and you just did it as a student against all of like, there were like these big name executive people and all this stuff. And they're like, you should... Like, do it just for funsies. And I'm like, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, just for funsies. And I'm like, all right, sure. And so I do that my junior year of high school. And, uh, I mean, we raised, like, a good, like, $12,000. $12,000? Yeah, $12,000. And, which I'm super proud of. But, like, compared to, like, all these other, like, big name people. Like, sure. You know, not sure. a whole ton. But, I mean, they had, like, this whole, like, gala and everything. It was awesome. And then the next year, they were like, hey, we actually were inspired by, like, you doing that as a student to make like a student of the year campaign oh, so that students cool. can do it right and um so i was on the board for that for like a little bit to kind of like help it get going especially here in utah mm-hmm. and then once i started college i kind of like you know sure you forgot can. about it you know because i'm doing all this other stuff and then this year um this past semester i was in a class and there was this girl that i was in a uh group with and we were talking and she's like yeah i volunteer for this uh blood cancer uh nonprofit and I was like what blood cancer nonprofit she's like leukemia lymphoma society and I was like an OG yo <laughs> yo and I'm like that's fantastic and so we were talking for a while and I was like yeah I did the um man woman of the year like right before they turned the student of the year because she also then did student of the year and she was a student of the year and I was like oh my gosh that's insane and she's like so you're like the OG here in Utah and I'm like yeah yeah. And she's like, like oh like, my god. Like I'm like, but like, kind of, yes. This is so fantastic to like see people doing this continuously. This is amazing. And she's like, yeah, oh my gosh, wait, one second, let me call somebody. And she apparently then, like, throughout like the next week, was talking to people because she was like continuously involved in the Student of the Year campaign, just right. in general. And she told people that she's like, yeah, no, um, I'm actually in a class with Cassidy. And they were like, yo. Oh, Hold up. Wait. They were like, Jesus. Yeah, they were like, they were like, <laughs> let's get a meeting with her. And so then I had a Zoom meeting with all of them and like the board and stuff like that for that. And they at first I thought because the girl um she asked me if I could just like speak or something. She's like, Would you be willing to like have like a part like speak? And I was like, Oh yeah, if like you want me to have like a speech or something, that would be awesome. I'd yeah. totally do that. That's a great opportunity. Absolutely. And also it's a an, it's an amazing campaign and I would love to be a part of it still. And um she's like, Yeah, let's set up a meeting. So we set up a meeting and they were like, Oh yeah, no, we want you to like MC the entire thing. Oh, Wait, what's MC? Um it means like host it. Okay. So like I'm, I'm like introducing I'm everybody. Or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> I'm not like going out with like my like parachute, <laughs> parachute <laughs> pants and I'm like that would have been hilarious if you showed up like MC Hammer, like, I missed I, translation. Sorry. I don't know. I heard MC and I uh, took it my own way. Yeah, I was like, sorry, 
Obviously, um, all of you guys are dressed in black tie. I'm oh. here with my parachute pants. This is a little embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, this first time was on Zoom, but apparently they're wanting me to like come back for like the next years and stuff and do it. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, that's awesome. And they enjoy having people who have actually done the whole campaign better than just like some executives from Leukemia sure. Lymphoma Society because they're usually... My mom was telling me, she's like, honestly, all of these old ass guys are usually, they don't know how to talk to people. Yeah. They don't know how to be animated. They don't know how to like actually keep people involved and be, you know, fun. They just kind of read off a script and go, good morning, um, uh, people it's here. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I have to congratulate all of you for this <laughs> and that's like squint <laughs> eyes all like, of you all, all of you and so i ended up doing that over zoom i was super nervous but it ended up being a great time yeah. and um i mean all the students read so much it was insane to see because the thing is is like i don't know i feel like it's kind of like somewhat of like a legacy mm -hmm. of mine which is really weird i think uh, because like I, it was when I was pretty young, sure. just in general, and I wasn't very involved with it for a good amount of years. And then seeing how far it's come, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's got me jazzed. Right. I'm like, this is a fantastic. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what I was emceeing. That's pretty fucking I get, dope. Whenever somebody asks me about it, I get super hyped about yeah. it because all of these students have been doing so much. Because I mean, it takes a lot to be able to just like create all of these different because you have to figure out all these different fundraising campaigns on your own you That's have to get up your easy. team you got to like keep it up and especially. talking in front of a group of people is really difficult sometimes too it's on its own oh like, yeah because i mean it was like two about like 500 plus at oh. least <laughs> yeah wow. and like the thing is is like it definitely helped me that it was over zoom so i could have like my script here and i wasn't just seeing a crowd of people because i have like I cannot speak in public like it no. freaks me out um I can do it on occasion I was definitely kind of a theater kid and I did like a lot of drama and stuff uh but that was different because the lights were intense and I was like playing a character sure. and not really involving the audience but this is like involving oh, yeah, the audience yeah, yeah. and all that stuff Ooh, I did not miss drama class I hated that <laughs> <laughs> seriously I uh it freaked me out at first but I feel like that was a good introduction to be able to do it over zoom specifically yeah public speaking is one of those things that really like man if you can master it right it's, it's huge because like then you can just pretty much go and speak for any company because they're mm -hmm. like well he knows how to do it have him yeah have go him out there do and it. Tell yeah everybody. I like public yeah. speaking because it's one of those things that fuck, it like doesn't matter what you're gonna go talk about. You get your your heart races. You're nervous, like oh yeah, like you're kind of like freaking out. That's like definitely my next like feat to like conquer, you know? Because I definitely throughout high school I was super socially anxious. Like I couldn't call somebody without like breaking down in tears. Yeah, sort of socially anxious. Where like now, obviously, like I'm. Like, you know, yeah. I'm doing this. I love people and I love connections with like, and I love meeting new people and all that stuff, but still standing on a stage, talking to a bunch of people I don't know. I know Ooh. the perfect way to break it. <laughs> Come to an open mic with me, shit the bed completely, <laughs> have it be the worst moment of your life, and then public speaking's easy. Genuinely, I am easy. so down. Because <laughs> like, when you tell a joke and you think like, oh my God, this is so funny. And then like, you get this, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and people uh, kind of clap. You're like, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna go home and not ever leave my house again. I need to go home and lay in bed. Yeah. Ugh, god, <laughs> I'm genuinely so down though yeah, for fun. open mic. Have you done open mic mm -hmm. and stuff? Mm -hmm. Where do you go for open mic? Just depends. Whenever they're open, just a couple different. <laughs> whenever, whenever they're open, yeah. whenever they open there's the mic. <laughs> there's a couple different places that you have to sign up for. Like uh, Wise okay. Guys does open mics, but it's a little bit more like. I, don't like, know. Mm -hmm. I personally don't go to Wise Guys because I don't feel like I'm ready. Yeah, because definitely, <laughs> I feel like Wise Guys is kind of where, like, you know, that's where the profesh yeah. people go. I'm not ready to share the stage as some of these that's fucking freaky. killers. Uh, if you had to jump up uh, for open mic, like, if somebody was like, all right, open mic, get up there, what would you say? Well, like, would I say, like, yeah, I like, would do it. Yeah, well, like, but they were like, okay, get up there. What, oh, what would you God. say in this open mic? Just real quick. Are we being they're like, you have like, or are we being life speakers? What, like, what's oh, the, comedians, what's the, comedians. Okay. Oh, open I can't mic, do that. open I can't mic do is that. comedians. 
I don't know. I'd probably just do crowd work and make fun of people. (laughs) I don't know. Like, if it was on the spot and I wasn't ready, like, I haven't mentally prepared, I'd probably just do crowd work. You're like, this guy, a bitch. I would just be like, I would just be like, what's with your outfit? What's with your hair? Is that your wife? Is that your wife? You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) I went and saw um, Big J Ogerson. Oh! Who's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. And for, like, 10, 15 minutes, that's all he did was crowd work. Oh my god, it was so good. Like, so I went with Bieber and we got there like we would we could have sat right in the front row and I told her, I'm like, listen, we sit in the front row, we're getting roasted. Like, and everyone who sat in the front row got roasted. And this lady was on her first date with this guy, and she was like fully tatted. Like she was she was an older lady, but like Uh fully tatted, like some piercings and shit like that. And he's like talking about how like he's like, dude, if you just play your cards right. You're going to get fucked tonight. Like, you just have to do it. And then, like, he, like, said other jokes, and he came back, and he's like, by the way, I was thinking, is the hood pierced? <gasps> <laughs> and, like, he's like, I bet that thing is. Oh, isn't it? My And I'm sitting there like, oh. <laughs> I wish he would be like, yeah, it is. Oh, she said yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was oh. like, damn, we, this is the fucking place we need to be at. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I still remember, um... When, what was it? What's that one where it was like kind of like this anonymous confessions app? Whisper. When Whisper. Oh, don't even me super, start on Whisper. When yeah, Whisper was Whisper. super popular, I remember being in a media class with Holly. Mm. We were sitting next to each other and we're scrolling through and she's like, dude, look at this. Whisper is the best. And one Whisper confession was, I, <laughs> I still, I think about it to this day because of like how, like we were like, oh, oh God. Um, she was like, I got my clip pierced in the back of a truck at Warp Tour. And we were like, no! Oh, God! That's the uh, best thing I've ever heard. I'm downloading it right now. We're seeing this way local. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. You know, you know how many secretly on the low gay guys I've met at Woods Cross? Not met, oh, but, but sure. like, how many yeah. of them on Whisper were? Dude. There were couple, there was only one of them that admitted their true identity to me, and I was. Part of me is like, who, obviously, we're not. I'm not gonna you, say yeah, it now, you can but tell me later. <laughs> I'll tell you when we're off air later. But oh my god, dude, there's like so many football players. Someone like, oh yeah, like I'm a wrestler. I go to Woods Cross, and this and like I always thought you were hot, and I was just like. Who are you? Like, and they'd be um, like, um, no. And I'm just like, okay, understandable. I get it, you know? But so many, like, yeah. secretly gay guys. Now. I guess it's still active. Are you serious? Okay, so I'm yeah, on. Yeah, pull up some I like, have local. location on, and we're. Let's scroll we're, through and see. We're 15 miles is the max. So 15 miles from right here. <laughs> so miles let's talk. Here. I'm going to explain to you guys what Whisper is. Wait, I have to pee. Where's your bathroom at? Do you. Okay, so go. Up both staircases and then it's just right down the hallway. Down this way? No, this way. This way? Okay. So go all the way up to the right and then just keep going. You'll find it. I believe in you. Yeah. Uh Enjoy. So Whisper was made in what, like 2011? Yeah. Something like that? Early, early 2010s. And what the foundation of it was is you would go onto this app and you would anonymously share your secrets. And it could be anything from like, I secretly have done this or that where like i secretly want to do this or that or whatever it is just anonymous confession (laughs) just out in the void like you're just yelling in the void yeah exactly and then like there's a chat system so people can like see it and then like message you and it really turned into like kind of what calfer was saying is like it did kind of turn into this weird anonymous like hookup slash like sex thing yeah because people will be like i'm horny and then somebody else would be like me too. Yeah, we're we're gonna get right into the horniness of this one really ooh, quick. Ooh, ooh. We so, about the horny. So what I did is I I have Whisper on location, so and within 15 miles of where we are in Utah right now. Let me start going through. These. 15 miles. Okay, that just like make I'm like imagining kind of like the radius. Like maybe like Salt Lake. Yeah, if yeah. anything. So that means. You know, Mormon country. Yeah, AKA Mormon country. Mormon and, country. And for the record, how it looks is like you put your whisper with a picture. Mm-hmm. And you could put whatever picture you want. I think it can't be explicit. <laughs> no, and it's usually like the thing is, is people usually will use like stock footage yeah. or like kind of like I think of like Tumblr esque. Yeah, very Tumblr esque. So here we go. Um, can I, oh, okay. 
Yeah. So this one says, cool. maybe I should just go away for a while. Oh, R.I.P. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> A dub branch. Uh, <laughs> a dub branch. This one says, are the lines at Kane's still long? <laughs> Homeboy trying to find information on this group. Uh, I can definitely Do say Do we have it, a Kane's here? It, they just barely made it. My sister's going tonight, apparently. Gone. She was like, yeah, me and my friends are going to Kane's. And I'm like, what? And my mom was like, you got Kane's? All There's I've Kanes? ever heard about Kane's, I, I saw this TikTok where this guy was all like, all I'm saying is I would butt chug the Kane's sauce if I could. Damn, so that's so, saying a lot. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it might be good. I don't know, maybe butt chuck the cane sauce. My mom was telling me, because, you know, my family's Mormon and stuff, but they know that I really like sweet tea. She was like, they're known for their sweet tea, by the way. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. good to know. Damn, well, I'm a whore for sweet tea. Yeah, I'm so. like, oh, oh, sweet tea. <laughs> Some good sweet tea. Hard to beat. Oh, yeah, it Hard is. To beat. It really is. Holly and I used to make like sun tea, um, at our old at our old apartment, and I'm like, I something miss about those days. tea. I didn't get into tea until I was a little bit older. It's so, it's the it's best. It's so good. It's like comforting. If I were to like, if I were to drink anything else the rest of my life, it'd probably be tea because there's such a variety. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, yeah, sure, maybe I would like coffee. Yeah, coffee's up there. And all that. But the thing is, is like coffee, you can only make like so much of a variation. And also coffee is not exactly there for me to like, you know, sip and then be like, mm, I'm yeah. going to take a nap. I'm going to go to bed. Coffee. You're drinking coffee and yeah. you're like, I'm ready to fucking I'm do ready it. to go and I'm ready to go and take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's tea literally made for sleep time. Yeah. Yeah. Sleepy time tea. Sleepy time tea. With Sleepy a little bear tea. on it. Oh my God. So good. So, so good. I'm going to show you this picture. <laughs> okay. So this one says, supposedly this is me as an old lady. What do you think? Smash or pass? <laughs> <laughs> It's a hard pass, boys. It's a pass. Sorry, unless you're into, uh, it's not even a gilf. But I mean, if you're just really into grandmas, yeah, I mean, then I mean, like, if that's your vibe, you do. Good you. on you, buddy. This one says, "Just show more abs, please, dudes. I need more thirst traps. I'm parched. I'm parched. Any I'm other parched. gorilla emojis gonna be rich soon? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. We're gonna skip past that one." Um, green and yellow utopia. Green utopia. I don't know what that means. Yeah. This one says, "Ugh, just want to be on the back of a bike." Oh well. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, like a motorbike or like a. You have a very lovely home, Wes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you. You have a very lovely home. Um, this one says, I just want to be held so bad. Don't we all? Uh, don't, don't we all? Um, oh, God. This one's pretty straightforward. I still want to lick vagina. What? Same. <laughs> I'm not, it's just, that's I just, am... just what it says. So Whisper's really like popping. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's like Whisper's popping. Everybody was post... download Whisper. Oh, these are posted like this. There's a lot of people. This was only 49 minutes ago. Oh, oh, I should get back on the app and find myself a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, anyone know where to meet up for the car meets? Car, car meets? Is that like a car meetup? I don't um, know. Like Wait, where they like do like races and cool stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Come show me your super woo. Show me. Show me. Sue me gang. Sue me gang. Sue me gang. Uh, this one says, let's go to the club tonight. This one's just a picture of Pikachu's at a barbecue. Oh, yeah. I kind of fucks with that uh, one. Pika, wait, barbecue? Uh, barbecue, there we go. <laughs> wait, um, this one on. says, cuddle and watch a movie, question mark. The thing is, is I can't see a single person. Well, actually, no, I can see people uh, just responding to an anonymous message that's like, cuddle and watch a movie with me. Um, and actually being like, yeah, let's cuddle and watch a movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's cuddle and watch wait, a movie. Wait, what is... Come on. I'm confused. That's how you get an infection and die. What were you guys talking that's about? That's how you get an infection and die. Oh, like, I'm not oh. sure what that's really. Oh, I think that probably was for the clip piercing. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. and then I've always... We talked about tea. tea. My mom tea. Used to make yeah, and then we talked about how good like sweet tea is and like all that, like how t like different variations of tea and how you know, if you had one drink, you, you would know, drink at McDonald's tea. they use four pounds of sugar and one bucket of sweet tea. I mean, it makes sense. It's really yeah, sweet. It is real sweet. I'm not going to stop drinking it. Yeah, no. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep chugging it down. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, when I saw my manager make one time, I was like, I was like, that's a lot of sugar. She goes, Yeah, this is how it was yeah, made. And I was like. The this how it be. Yes. <laughs> um, this one says, whenever you punish you, your pet, you're really just punishing yourself because those are the moments you will remember after your pet is gone. Wow. <sighs> Damn, that makes me sad. Ouch. That kind of <laughs> I'm going to skip over a couple of these because it's very interesting. 
Um, this one says, neat goth bitch that can sex me through Ouija board. <laughs> it's a picture of Polly D with vampire teeth. <laughs> um, Polly D, real OG, honestly. See, this is the Give weird shit. <laughs> this is the weird shit. Can't stop thinking about this customer that I helped to get her swamp cooler running. Very chill and beautiful. <laughs> very, very chill and beautiful. Um, oh, five for five, yes, five if you <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to myself? I know it's not real. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy, oh. <laughs> May, okay, maybe whispers only like young people. This one says, any woman who aren't super immature want to talk. Say hello. Good night, y'all. <laughs> I should be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, you should be like, hey. This one's forward. That's good. Let's see your breasts. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me see your breasts, please. Titty, please. Please, can I see a nipple? Please, anything for a titty. Oh, oh here you go. Wife and I are at the Westerner. Should come flirt with her. Oh, my God. Is he hot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. This one says, I want sex, but damn it, people make it hard for me because they want a sugar baby. Won't wear so he's rich. condoms, <laughs> are married, or listen to me when I say I don't like something. What? What? I'm a, actually I'm gonna download that. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! None of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Turns out I have a yeast infection under my breast. Big boobs suck. <laughs> and I shower what? and change my bras daily. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. Wait, yeast infection. Wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! I have a great idea. <laughs> I have a great idea. Are we going to post a whisper? Is that on what's going a on? podcast? <gasps> yes! Oh! Yes! Yes! Yeah! I'm downloading. Oh my god, look, it's, it's in like a. It says re download. It's re download. You're like, yes. Well, because I had it in high yes. school, so. Mm. Oh, uh, should my background be like... Alf? Yes. <laughs> that absolutely. was the first randomly generated uh, one. <laughs> absolutely. This Let's is how we're growing the show, this. baby. <laughs> oh my god, show. how big those boobies. They must be oh my god. large and in charge. How big them booties? Boobies. My, my boobies are, I'm like an A cup right now. Especially, I, especially after that quarantine weight, I'm like an A cup right now. You know, see, the thing is, is people always, <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, the thing is, is I no matter what am cursed with small titties. And the thing is, is so is the rest of my family, except for my sister. And me and my mom will look at her and be like, how? This doesn't make any sense. And she's like, I'm just blessed. And we're like, no, you can die. This is not okay. Here's a fucked up one. I've slept with two of the wife's friends. Wh- what? Oh what? God. That gives me cousins vibes. That gives me. <laughs> you want to hear the, a story about the cousins? I have like I have these friends that I call uh, whenever uh, we talk on FaceTime and stuff like that, and I have some drama about them. I'll be like, you want to hear a story about the cousins? Uh... And Calvin every time is like. The cousins? I love the cousins. Uh, lately, I haven't had too much tea because uh, they're not super involved. One of them asked me if I wanted to be on some ho shit. And I was like, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather pass. I, oh, you know, no, thank you. We shall keep the ho shit to a dull roll. Oh, shit. I actually ended up sending him a meme that said, uh, Jimbo, why won't we turn that, what was it? A. Uh, a uh, grind set. Wait, no, a mindset into a grind, grind set. set. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, so does that mean yes or no? And I was like, mm, I don't yeah. know. Why don't you figure it out? I just said on a podcast right now, send us in on those questions. We're white and one of us is brown. <laughs> I just whispered that. Why do you? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Love that. Does that mean that I also have to download it and post? I don't know. I feel like this is necessary. Am I going to get... I don't have an account, so, like, does it... Are you going to get messages? Yeah, I don't have an account either. I just I just randomly sent it. Are you accounts? able to, like, press I don't, on I don't. I don't think you have to have an account, though. Because I click on some of these and they have names. But but mine says there's zero whispers, zero hearts, zero applies. Do I have to make an account? Oh, wait, no. This person says anonymous from Centerville eight minutes ago. <sighs> Ooh, is he hot? Oh, I think that's the whole point of anonymous. Is that you're dumb. Oh, nearby. Let me look at nearby. So that means. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of people use Whisper now. <laughs> See, I have a feeling that it's like young people, kind of like you know, TikTok got overrun by like kids, basically. Youngins. I don't know. I bet it it's was the... definitely was like young <clears throat> people, and then older people started getting on it. Yeah, the same thing as uh. 
uh, what was that that messaging app that was kind of before? Kick. It's like Kick. I where saw the Kick. Pick. I remember Kick was really popular for like a hot minute between yeah. like like young people. I still have the app on my phone. <laughs> and then it got taken over by like the old horny. The, the, oh, the crazy yeah. Yeah, the yeah. old the, horny. The only, so I have Kick downloaded it and it's only for uh, the occasional pay pig. <laughs> Well, I mean... You know, sometimes you gotta get that back. Yeah, if somebody you asks me... Secure. Yeah, exactly. If they're like, hey, my kink is just paying you money, I'm like, here's my kick. Yeah. You know? Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, wow, fantastic. Financial domination? Don't mind if I no, do. No, he's like, okay, I'll just text you I and be like, I love it. spending I just found your money. The <laughs> Dude, Whisper might be the fucking hotspot for Yeah, content, now I'm like, I'm going on the app store all I think, of a I think this is going to be the new grinder, honestly, for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, brown boy, construction worker, This person gay. asked, what would you do for 500 Oh, there's replies. There's a lot of things I would do for $500, gotta be honest. I don't know, I just recently got a stimulus check, which doesn't make any sense to me, but... So where are we going for dinner tomorrow? Oh, apparently we're going out. <laughs> no, I was about to say, if we keep touching on my thumb, apparently we go out. <laughs> if you went to the beach, where the fuck you at? Where the fuck you at? We outside. Have you, seen that? Have you seen that TikTok, Wesley? Which one? If you went at the beach, where the fuck you at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we outside. Everyone, every, everyone, everyone's been stitching that TikTok. I'm at work. Or I'm taking yeah. care of my kids. I got a nine to five. I can't. Literally me. So we got one question. Oh, are you oh, serious? Shit. Yeah, so um, the question is. I don't know. Oh, it's I'm kind of worried. Honestly, it's kind of is not it a little naughty? As long as it's not like a uh, like any like bad words. Too oh bad no, words. there's no bad words in the question. Okay, but... send it. So she says, "How far <laughs> would you guys let your tongue slip in a booty hole? <laughs> how long? How far? How far? Oh, how far? I don't know. My tongue isn't very long." Yeah, I so don't... like as long as it can go. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> you know, if I'm eating ass, I'm eating ass. Yeah, we're not fucking. I don't half ass. Yeah, I'm not going like. like uh, yeah. You're you're sticking it in. You Been know? there for a good time, not a long time. What's up, demons? It's your boy. Hey, what up? Thank it's you for boy. the sub. Boop, 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 Ayo. Stingray. <laughs> Stingray. <laughs> Stingray. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, if, I, if I'm if I'm eating booty, I mean we're eating booty. Right? Yeah, you're eating booty. Obviously. See. I've eaten booty before, but... Has everybody here eaten booty? That's yeah, what I'm wondering. for sure. I have also eaten booty, yeah. so I'm glad that we all have. Well, I've only done it once, and it was unintentional. Un yeah, wait, sure unintentional? Just, uh... it, only, okay. well, it, was, it was accidental, so like... You oh. Act, oh, how do you accidentally eat ass? Well, I wasn't... You're just like... I wasn't really fucking with it, and then I was just like... I was drunk uh -huh. on, on Hennessy, so I was just like... Oh, while we're here, oh, I'll yeah. fuck at you because I, I was I, w I was I was giving head to this one dude and I was just like, well, let's go downtown and see what happens. And I went downtown and he liked you saw it. What yeah. I, liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't love it, but I liked yeah. it. It was like whatever, you You're know. Like, uh, yeah, you know. The motherfucker was moaning, so I was like, I guess I'm doing something right. Obviously but you're doing something but, but like, I don't stick my tongue in there. Is the thing. <laughs> she was like, Bleh. I'm like. Oh, tongue fucking bit. <laughs> no, it doesn't yeah. mean, no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. I don't. No, he does. He's a freaky bitch. Yeet. I don't. I really no. <laughs> oh yeah, Stingray. Yeet. Who's um, Stingray? My new, boy. New you know Nick yeah, Joyce. I didn't know Cass yeah. knew Nick Joyce. We all know Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick, my boy. He's the I, boy. He's the boy. I remember one ever, one ever, like, oh my god, Nick. I'm like Nick. You're so Nick. hot. And. <laughs> Him and his dog, Maximus Tiberius. Yeah, Maximus Tiberius, and then also his Esquire. pig. His pig. His pig. Oh, yeah, he's got a pig. Yeah. He's been sending me videos of his pig recently, Where and honestly, Nicholas, I'm actually? living. I'm living for those videos. Yeah. I'm like, I it's my favorite them. thing. He's been sending me videos of that, and I'm like, this. <sighs> Someone send them a Snapchat and tell oh. them that we're. I'm gonna say, tune into our podcast right now. Tune into our pod. Right our now. Pod Nickelodeon. Pod. Oh wait, what do you want to say to Nick Joyce? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so someone said Ooh. someone said if someone offered you a million dollars, would you kill someone? <clears throat> yes. Oh, that's a tough question. Oh. I think it really would uh, see sorry. <laughs> see, I go yes. I'm scared because I feel like no matter what you do to someone, they're gonna find you somehow. 
I think it's that like that age old one. Like let, let's switch it up a little bit, okay? okay? It's the button press one. Oh, okay. button press. where you? I think it's from a movie, but look, scenario here. Let's say you walk into a room and there's a guy with a briefcase with a million dollars and there's a button. And he says, if you click that button, you get a million dollars, but one random person dies. Would you do it? Yeah, I'd press it. Yeah, I was. Oh, I don't know where the nut button is right now. Nut. The nut button is what? gone. No, it's it's. It's, it's hiding. It's lingering. It's, taking a nap. it's, it's just quite a, a bit. He's on a business trip. Wait, yeah. wait, how did you hear about that button scenario? It's, it's I think it's from a movie, like, yeah, but it's like a something. normal, like a like a popular question on like yeah. Reddit and stuff. <laughs> the first time someone asked me that, I grabbed the nut button. I was just like, no, 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 I don't know if I morally could. I I have this weird thing about like causing random problems where it's, I'm not See, like the one directly causing it. Okay, so here's my thing. I feel like I could do it. But I wouldn't tell anyone about it. Because I feel like I, I, a lot of the times, like, especially, like, nowadays... I'm here at Catholic Cross to wrestle me if I can't... Whoa, you did. Calvary. Oh, I didn't promise shit. <laughs> Nick, stop lying. Nick, I believe you. Why am I not getting these pig videos, Nick? Yeah, you gotta send the pig videos to Wes. No, but it's I feel fine. like, I feel like, okay, so, like, realistically, if I did kill someone, I would not tell anybody. Not even my closest friend, because... The moment someone else knows about it, yeah, those are the motherfuckers that mess you up. You go to jail. And not only that, but I, I feel like I would be really bad. He's like, bet you Thank want you. them, bet. Um, They're the best. They yeah. make my day. I feel like I, I, I just feel like I would be bad at hiding a body. Like everyone says, burn it. Everyone says, do acid. All this bullshit. But it's like, like you know, yeah, soak it in acid. And we're talking about killing. Someone. See, the thing is, is someone, that, like, someone, someone Q&A'd my Snapchat and said, if someone gave you a million dollars, would you kill someone? So, technically, yes, oh, I would be geez. down just to get the money, but, and I could also leave to another country after I do it, you know, and, like, live my life for yeah. a year in another country. A, a year? You could probably live your life for a good amount of time out there. Something like that. But basically, is what I'm saying is, like, okay, well... I'm, I feel like I'd be bad at hiding a body because I don't know how to. I know how to buy. Oh, you don't want to tell a friend. I'd be like, I know how. Don't tell me shit. Because okay. if I know shit, then. But <laughs> anyways, <laughs> if I know shit, I'll do shit. Yeah, I feel like I could do it. If, if someone offered me a million dollars to kill someone, I, I, I would do it. I would just shoot someone or stab someone. Well, and... Okay, let's say it's not even like you have to do it. Yeah. It's just like someone dies. Oh. Mm. But you don't know how it can impact you. Does it, the thing is, is I'm like, is it natural cause? It doesn't give you, it's like a random person at a random time. Does it get linked to you also, I feel like would be a good question. Are but we going with know. the, are we going with the button scenario or? Yeah, so the button yeah. scenario. Oh. Not just like killing, because the thing is, is I'm like, if I had to physically kill a person, I could never do that unless like me or somebody else's life was in danger sort of situation. Or if I like, you know, absolutely needed to. Wait, hold on. Apparently, you one. bury it upside down vertically and top it with an animal, animal tree. Or... Oh, yeah, and yeah. you can't chop it down. See, I've heard that, and I, on TikTok, they're like plant exotic plants that are endangered plants yeah. over it, and that that makes and sense. That's some, that's some fucking next yeah. level shit. You could also, place. if you di so, you got to dig it farther than six feet. Well, yeah, and then above that, you put a dead animal and bury it. But I don't want to so kill then, an animal though. If a dog though. smells it and they dig up the like dead animal that's buried, then they're like, oh shit, false alarm. So tune in on next episode of the f next forty eight hours. Um. Okay, here's the scenario. Okay. okay. Ten million dollars, and ten million? you get ten million dollars, and someone dies. But Cash or every, like, yeah, sure. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, does, sure, yeah, sure. Everyone knows you did it. Oh. Or a million dollars, and no one knows you did it. A million. Uh, you know, I make like when I do work, money. I make like sixty thousand a year. So I'm gonna go for the million because the thing is, is I'm like, oh god, a lot of money. Because 10 million, yeah, everyone knows you did it, but it's like, you could face a lot of time for that, so... I feel like if I randomly got a million dollars, I'd be flagged by the FBI. True, true. <laughs> yeah, especially with your bank, they're just like... They're like, mm, You've never had up. this amount of money in your account before, so... But, oh, yeah. but, but, put that aside, yeah. though, because... Oh, put that aside, though, because... 
Oh, and I, oop. <laughs> and I, oop. <laughs> and I, oop. No, put that aside. Like, no one knows. Your bank doesn't say shit. Like, a million dollars or ten million dollars. They're just like. See, for ten million? Yeah, probably. I could make a lot of a difference in the world. But see, I feel like uh, I could, I, I feel like I could just move to another country on ten million and just live my life there and bitch the U.S. Who is she? You know, like. <laughs> who, is, who is she? I don't know her. That's for sure. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, <laughs> okay it sounds really gross and nasty, but I apologize. No, Nick, and crush the bones and use them as fertilizer. I'm fat. I'm not digging a fucking hole. Mm. Honestly, yeah. See, you the know, thing is, is when I think about stuff like that, I imagine myself as like a super villain, and I would have some goons, you know, to do things for me. So I'd be like, go dig this hole, my goons. And they go and dig a hole, and I just give them, like, the directions, and they do it for me. And I'm like, hmm, yes, You're thank just like, you. Here's like, here's $500, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, thanks. I give them a kiss on the forehead, and they're like, oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to play one of my favorite games. I, I have to give a shout-out to Rooster Teeth. Um, I love Rooster Teeth. One of the best, so one of the best content creation companies that are out there. But they have a game called Million Dollars Butt. I don't know if you watched oh, it. Million dollars, but so okay. it's you get a million dollars just straight up. Like you don't have to worry about taxes. The government's okay with it. Nothing like that. But it comes with a scenario that that happens because of it. So we're gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a couple of these and uh, give them out to you. So this first one's kind of fucked. This personally, I would hate this. Oh, no. it says I'm okay, sure. million dollars, but for five years you can only wear shirts, sweaters, and jackets that are three sizes too small. Yeah, I can do that. I'm kind of a whore. So. <laughs> I'd hate it. I'd hate it. I'd, I'd be like. like so so if, I'm, if I'm an X large, I would have to wear a medium. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I'm like, I'm usually like, I'd say like a large and tops. But the thing is, is if I really need to fit into like some smalls. This is a small, technically, but this is a small and men's. I'm bringing so. the new trend that's going to sweep the nation. Thick boy crop tops. Do no. it straight Thick up. Crop tops. Straight up, I think you should do it. No, technically, they didn't say where I had to order my clothes from. So some brands run larger than others. Like, True. just don't buy from like, like AliExpress. Yeah, or a million bucks. It's a million bucks, and it's only three years. I could. Yeah, do it. I could. Yeah, you know. Kay. The thing is, is if like you eventually like wear them to sleep, stretch them out. You can like I don't know. You can alter them a little yeah. as long as they're still like technically that size. Okay. <laughs> This one's fucked. Oh, no. Million dollars. Oh, no. It's 1.5 million. Oh, shit. But for the rest of your life, every time you hear a dog bark, you poop just a little bit. Just like a, li like a little mm, pebble? I mean, no one's going to know. Enough that's like, you're like, oh, I just pooped. What if it's like, it is, wait, just a okay. Little, a little so is bit. it like a dog, like a single dog bark, like a roof? Or is it like a like a span of time of this dog barking? Because the thing is, is I live next to people who breed dogs. Same. Well, and do so they have a dog that barks non. My neighbor's dog barks every second. It's yeah. So wise. That is See, just like I don't Jesus live Christ. by dogs, so yeah, I could do that. And if I did shit myself, I've shit myself in the Target before, <laughs> so I'm not really gonna be pissed <laughs> about it. Um, I feel like that's a story time waiting to happen. Wait, hold on. I'll tell you that. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. The way we are, the way we were going, it wouldn't really be weird not to leave your house for a while or anyway, so I would be good with that. A small little shit. <laughs> uh, wait, so how no, long would that last or is it just The rest of your life. Uh, see, the oh, thing the is rest? Saying, okay, never mind. Never mind. I would honestly, yeah. I would, honestly, I would probably do it. I would just make sure to avoid places. I would move out of my, instantly move out of my parents' house. I would go and live with live somewhere where there's the avenues any, where there's no like no dogs i'm looking at it this way like a million and a half like i could like just wear a diaper and if anyone's got questions i'd be like, like i just throw money at you're it like, I, I, got a, I, I got a have, big dumpy what about I, it yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have ibs yeah <laughs> don't judge don't me. judge me dogs, allergic to many things dogs scare me <laughs> dogs scare me okay on to the next one uh wait hold on <laughs> Okay, so this one's for uh, me and Calfred only. Oh. says, for the rest of your life, your That's dick amazing. glows all the time at the level of a 250-watt bulb. So kind of like the lights in here. Yo. So your dick glows? Yeah, like a light bulb. I'm kind of about I it. Care. I would If I had a penis, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about if that. If my coochie glowed like that, just imagine. Just imagine somebody going like, Whoa. and it's like, Whoa. Yeah, you would have to learn how to like opera sing. 
yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, I've seen, I have seen the Lord. I have seen heaven. And it's like, yeah. yeah I think don't we're mean all to brag, on board but with that yes, one. you have. This next one is awful. Oh, <laughs> At least in my opinion. <laughs> so a million dollars, but anytime you forget something, it's gone forever. Oh, no. I, <laughs> it's just gone uh, forever. I forget everything and anything. Uh, yeah. I have a terrible men- memory. <laughs> Literally one time I was just, oh, actually recently, whenever I'm like with somebody and I'm like trying to like, we're like remembering to like do something. I, if I'm driving, I'm like, la, 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 just in my own little world. If I have to remember something to like pick something up, somebody has to remind me or else I will just keep going. Dude, it's a hundred percent only objects. So you sometimes like, I forget that won't be sometimes oh, I forget okay. that there's red lights. Like sometimes I'll run red lights and I'm like, oh shit, there was a red light. Like it's bad. Like my driving, it's not bad, bad, but it's bad. Oh, that's bad. My driving's bad. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Million dollars, but every time you see someone you find attractive, you vomit just a little bit. No, uh, no. I find too many people attractive. That's I find my whole everyone thing. attractive. You're yeah, just I'm like, I like, I find myself attractive. Like, yeah, I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, <laughs> you spit up. Oh, yeah, I don't, that one would be tough. Yeah, I would not be able to do that one. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this one's fucked. I'm like a little scared, but also fully <laughs> right. totally prepared. Million dollars, but for the rest of your time, the rest of your life, every time you climax, nothing comes out until an hour later. I'm um, a woman. I'm fine with that because that basically happens anyways. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of dumb because I only ever jerk off at night, so I guess it would. You're be good. So like an hour later, you like. Well, I mean, you in wake up in the morning, and you're like, oh. I'm like, oh. Yeah, not the worst thing. Get a little clean up. I don't know how that one would be. Well. Yeah, no. For me, it would just basically be like, oh, all right. And then an hour later, I just, maybe we'll set a timer. Go to the bathroom. Give a good and clean just up. Let it, just let it be like, <laughs> just, I'm just imagining something. Just. <laughs> I squat down. It's that like, exact it's, noise. It's, it's like. <laughs> well, bloop. I. You know, that happens sometimes. I can time it for comedic effect. Yeah, yeah. Be like, wait, wait, wait. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, this one's funny. For the, Okay, a million dollars, but for the rest of your life, every time you hear the happy birthday song and there's a party going on, you have to go over to the to the place that the party is being held and the song is being sung and eat their birthday cake. No. Oh, wait, like all of it? Yeah. Oh, I can't eat that much sweets. No, I can't do that. I'm going to pass on that one. I go to a lot of parties, and also my favorite uh, sushi place. Uh, I go there because of their, uh, whenever you say that there's a birthday going on, they drop down disco balls, and it goes, <laughs> and it's awesome. But the thing is, is I go there for that, so that means a lot of birthdays are going on. No, I don't want to get up, beat up. Yeah. True. I think I would do it. You would do it? Yeah. If you just went and just ate all of their birthday cakes? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you could just, like, decline all birthday parties. You know? All that stuff. <laughs> this one's bad. Oh, I don't There's no this way one. I would do I'm this scared. one. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. I mean, because, like, I guess the first couple times would be bad, but then you'd probably just be like, like I guess it's happening. Fuck, so it says, million dollars, but every year on your birthday, the moment you turn whatever age, you get warped back in time and you have to watch your parents conceive you. No! From a different angle each year. No! How is that even possible? No. Did they just change it by like a point <laughs> one um, radius? I, I, I've seen, I've seen, or I've heard my parents. Ugh. You, what? No! <laughs> yeah, really? I've heard. I've oh, heard, I've, I've heard oh. my parents many times and I. I'm not trying to see it. I couldn't do it. No, either. I could not. My mom has talked to me about like, Crystal. oh my God. Literally, she's told me, she's like, she's like, obviously I'm not going to have this conversation with your siblings. You're old enough though. She's like, she's like, you know, if you're uh, giving, if you better be receiving. What if it's not your dad? What if it's not your No. Oh, so we drank? No. Like, I'm absolutely not. Even, so not. <laughs> absolutely not. I feel like, could you close your eyes? 
don't know. You're just like, if I just look away. Well, no, he's alone and made me puke. So every, I'm not going to have a birthday, a good birthday ever again. Yeah, no. I would cry each and every birthday. <laughs> I would sob violently in a corner. Okay, so this one's pretty good. Okay, million dollars, but for one year, everywhere you go, you're pushed in a baby stroller by an incredibly strong, muscular man wearing a tiny muscle showing outfit. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Actually, that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Honestly. I would, I would do that one I would, sure. yeah, I would do that one 100%. I would have a year of not doing much because like, that's going to be really inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Working from home a lot, but you know... Okay, that one's done. Sure, I don't like walking. Yeah, and also, I just imagine just sitting in there and just like this giant muscly man like strolling me around. Some people would probably walk by and be like, is that a kink? Is that like, is that like a... <laughs> this one's kind of fucked. Oh no, what is it? Well, because it's just like a... I don't know. Okay, so it says, million dollar, million dollars, but you get the greatest dog in the entire world. It does whatever you want and it can talk but no one else in the world can see or oh. hear this dog you can't prove in any way that it exists and if you ever ignore it intentionally it loses the ability to talk no fuck i can't do that that's, i couldn't do that either that's, that's that. too sad people like, would think you yeah nuts. they think i'm crazy no, and they would talk to you you would no, yeah, that no. that would be too much. I couldn't do that. Wait, one. can we talk about my Target shitting myself story? Yes, oh, please. yeah, you want to tell that story now? Okay, so I, I've told three friends this story, and they, <laughs> think, they think I'm crazy, but... You, you'll, you'll, okay, okay, just go, let's go. <laughs> I gotta stay for this, and then I gotta rock a piss. So, in 2017... <laughs> I was I was sick, you know, stomach flu or something, yeah, you yeah. know. Happened. Yeah. And I, like I was at a friend's house who lived in Farmington. And on my way home, I was like, hey, like, I feel really bad. Like, I, I'm just going to go home and just, you know, deal with the sickness. And <laughs> from Farmington to Bountiful, obviously, Target is in the Centerville exit. Yeah. So I went to Centerville, Target, to get some medicine. Like some Pepto Bismol or whatever the fuck I could get my hands on that would work, you know? Yeah. And as I'm checking out, my friend Bailey is working the cashier. Not that Bailey, but <laughs> a different Bailey. And so she's like, okay. Oh, hey. And I was like, hey, you know, whatever. Like I'm a little sick, whatever. But it was like that weird mid day when like nobody was at Target. Yeah. So as I'm walking out, I kind of thought, oh, I kind of have to fart. I'm just going to rip some ass oh, no. as I'm walking out. No. You know, no problem, no big deal. I rip ass, and I fully shit myself. No! And I'm talking, like, diarrhea, oh, like... Oh, no. And it, like, I'm running talking, down the leg sort of shit? Yeah, running no. down the leg. Oh, no. So I stood there, and I oh, froze. Oh, as the doors, God. as it's like, were opening, I was like... <laughs> and... I just thought, okay, you know what? If you go to the bathroom, there's nothing you can do about it. So I got in my old car that I had before the Mustang. Oh. I sat my ass in my shit. Oh, no. And no. I drove home. No. Threw away the sweats and everything that I was wearing. At and least you weren't wearing shorts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been oh, terrible. I was wearing gray sweats. Yeah, like I was like literally, like, oh, I seriously no. was like, I threw them away. It was the worst day of my life, even though nobody even knew shit, you know, like still. Yeah, but still you were like you day. were aware. You knew. Yeah. Yeah. So ever since then, I get I have You don't trust farts in Target. I just don't trust Target in general. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Target and you're like, I don't know, kinda sus, I'm staying in the car. <laughs> no, I've been there once since then, but <laughs> But my, but, my, but, but, but my bowels were intact. Oh, good, good, good. You had to, like, make sure. You were like, no, I uh, made sure not to, like, you know, I didn't drink coffee. Not to I be sick or not to have <laughs> yeah. iced coffee. Yeah, yeah no, because I'm, like, one of those people who is, like, I can't have iced coffee or anything sweet because... I'm going to shit myself because <laughs> shit no, because I'm so scared now I'm shitting myself these days. Like I, if I have iced coffee, I'm not going to work. Mm. I'm not doing whatever wow. I need to do. I'm going to stay home and drink iced coffee because <laughs> I'm going to stay home. I'm, I'm so scared of iced. shitting myself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's not that I like shit myself. It's, it's just more like I thought it was a fart. <laughs> 
I thought my shit was going to be a fart. And what can you really do at that point? Like, and now I don't even trust my, like, if I ever had to fart, like, I go to the restroom now. Like, I don't care what the fuck I ate. If I have to fart now, I always go to the restroom because. Yeah. You kind of, you gotta yeah. be safe. You just gotta be safe. Yeah. Sure. You gotta you keep gotta... cautious. Basically. <laughs> keep cautious. Okay. Okay. I got a million sorry, dollars. I got Wait, hold on. Someone said Target makes me need, need to, to go poop to JK. Oh. Oh, JK. Ew. So, right. here's one for you, since we're on the <laughs> the topic of it. Are you on a whisper still? No, it's just on a million dollars butt oh, like, page. That, that app. So, <laughs> here you go. A million dollars, but every time you fart, you need to stop, waft it in your own face, and smell it dramatically. million dollars. And you know, most people like to smell their own fart, so yeah. million bucks. I mean, I, I think that... <laughs> I think, yeah, because I would just like, if I was in public, I would do my best just to hold it so I just don't look like I'm over here like, ah, little Basically. Jersey Mike's, little Jersey Mike's to fill the bell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nick Joy, I already do that. <laughs> well, now you're getting paid for it. Um, Let's see if we can find some other ones. Another time to Oh my god, this one's bad. Okay, million dollars, but instead of taste buds being on your tongue, your entire hand is full of really sensitive taste buds. You taste everything you touch. No, I couldn't do that. No. If it was for like a year, yeah, but if it was for the rest of my life. Mm-mm. I get, could you wear a glove? I guess I would just wear gloves permanently. I mean, there's ways around all these questions, so yeah, I think you could yeah. just wear a glove, but... <laughs> Like, why are you wearing a glove? This is a <laughs> this is a fancy restaurant. I would just touch my own dick and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my god!" Someone said mukbang, mukbang, muk. How the fuck you say that? Yeah, word? mukbang. We should order some food and just start eating in front of people. Yeah. Someone was on. Oh, I was doing another show, and someone was trying to like. We should do one of those. Uh, they were trying to say mukbang, like, we should do one of those uh, bukkakis. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wrong show! Mukbang! Hell no. Mukbang! <laughs> different, different live streams. What are you doing for work now, though? Where are you? I'm unemployed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, last time we talked, you were... I don't think you were doing electrical work. You were working at, like, a warehouse. Oh, was it the warehouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I talked about the electrical stuff the last time. I think I was doing both at the same time because the warehouse was nighttime, and then the <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, the electrical shit was in the morning, so I think I was doing both. Okay. Because I was for like a month or two. What happened with both of those? So the warehouse laid me off, oh. and that's how I was able to get unemployment for COVID or just long as <laughs> I mean, they just, like, laid me off. It wasn't, uh, it, they never gave me a reason. They're just like, hey, like, we're laying you off. And I was like, okay, I'm not playing me. Here I come. You right, know? Right. <laughs> but um, then the electrical, electrician shit I was doing, I don't know. Like, one day, basically, the, my boss was just like, hey, um, we have a bunch of inspections coming up. Uh, take this next week off, and, you know, we'll just call you back. And I'll look in. Did I get a call back? No, oh, damn. But that wasn't under the table pay, so I wasn't mad about that one at all. I was like, whatever. So I'm just slinging unemployment and just. <laughs> I'm back and better than ever. Yeah. 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 What's up? Yeah. What did I miss? What did I miss? Ah! <laughs> but someone that I work with in the electrician bullshit. Business? Business. Business. It's a business, bitch. He was Bukake? Text- he Sorry. Was- <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> he had been texting me recently. Uh-oh. And I'm talking like texting. <laughs> Dude, okay, let me read you my conversation. With Ooh! Uh-oh. Getting that. No, no this deep. is... Play this by is, play. This is such bullshit, Did literally. <laughs> okay, so... Um, all right, here. So I have his number here. So... <laughs> May 17th. May 17th, Monday. So Monday, oh no, 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 this is last month. Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. He says, 
you should send some new pictures of yourself with a little smirky emoji. Oh, shit. And Ooh. I texted him back at 7.52 p.m. I said, ha, 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 you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. And you're crazy. He was like, though. just a little. And then I was like, God damn it. I was like, look, I know it's Pride Month, but I don't, like, I'm going to need you to tone yourself down a little bit right now. Because he's not, like, openly gay. So he's, like, one of those, like, straight guys who's like, dude, bro, you know? So I was just like. And then he just said, LOL, ha ha ha. Not my fault, you're cute. It was just a thought. Oh. So then I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So then all of us, I was like, well, thank you. You know, I appreciate it. You're not a bad looking guy yourself. Not to rain on your pride parade. (laughs) I was like, I really don't do that. I don't ever send pictures of myself like that. I've been with like mainly like two dudes emotionally. So I'm not very promiscuous or deviant. Oh, deviant. And then he says, all right, how only two, though? You're really cute. Oh, boy. But I said emotionally, so yeah, 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 yeah. if he would have known, you know, I, I had sex with a cop, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, he ain't going to know about that, but I was just like, yeah, I'm not really good at talking to people in that way. I'm not I'm not very eager for anything either. Like, you know, I had my heart broken in 2019, you know, I've been on my own lane, I'm my own whatever. He was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. That's what I'm afraid of too. Like I've never been in a relationship myself. He's 29. Never been in a relationship. That's what made me think something about him. Cause I had asked him that before. Like how old are you? He was like 29, and I was like, Oh, you have kids? You got a girlfriend? You married? He's like, No. And I'm like, I'm like, girl. But <laughs> and then he was like, The sad thing is though, is I crave for that connection and to love and be loved. And then I sent him this whole like long paragraph of like talking about like oh yeah you know i want to be loved and i want to love someone and blah 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 whatever and i basically was like yeah like i've talked to a few guys emotionally but i've been with a handful sure and i was like but i've only really gotten close to like one of them and i was just like yeah i'm just kind of i'm done chasing and i'm focused on myself and then he never texted back mm. and i'm just like Mm-mm. i think it's i don't know the whole being 29 never been in a relationship is I don't think it's super weird to me just because I know that some people just don't know how to navigate that space and yeah. you know if I don't know like you like we've talked about before multiple times it's just the this transparency transparency and this fear of like you know not wanting to commit to a relationship that's public because it's like they're not out it's it's just it's just silly bullshit yeah yeah like if you really want a relationship and you really like someone, why do you want to hide it? Like, it's just... Yeah, because then it brings up the problem of, like, the specific reasons that you're hiding it, yeah. just in general. Because it's like, are you hiding it because of, like, family? Are you hiding it because of, like... You're embarrassed know, of me? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. is it me? Is it because of, like, you're, like social circle like what is the specifics of and this? see the thing is if i ever got in a relationship i don't like i honestly like i would much rather keep my relationship underground and personal yeah, yeah. like i'm not about posting my lover i'm not about all that shit you know so like sure. and if the person that i ever get with one day is like yeah let's just you know keep it to ourselves like whatever like yeah i'm sure like We'll keep it on the ground, but eventually, one day, we're gonna have to tell people. Yeah, 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 I, mean, yeah, I, think yeah I think there's, I think there's definitely levels to it because, like, I agree with you. Like, I sometimes think it's a little strange when people are like all over social media, like every day, it's a post like with them with their significant other. I'm like, well, you're putting on a lot of a facade. Yeah. But at the same time, like, it's a slippery slope of like not saying anything about being in a relationship is kind of then also kind yeah, of like weird. Iffy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Because then I, it gets a little sus. I agree. I, I agree with you in the sense of like, I don't know. I don't. I, I think like posting something every once in a while with your significant other is just fine. But at the same time, like, the world doesn't need to know every detail. Yeah. 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 Alicia yeah. said having privacy for your relationship, basically. Yeah. 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 Like, like that's, that's important. That's, that's how important. I would be mostly. Yeah. Like I mean, my close friends would know, but like I wouldn't want all of social media. Yeah. Anymore. I mean, mm. they don't need to. I mean, if things yeah. get like really, really serious, and if the, you know if the other person is comfortable with it, then yeah, like I sure. you know, I'll yeah, post like, us, post. like whatever. But for the most part, I'm just super down with just like saying like, hey, yeah, like. No one I'm dating know. someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm dating someone. Mind your damn business. Like, shut the fuck up. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, just as long as like you both are secure in your relationship, and you know that like yes, we are dating, and that is what's going on. 
Cause Nobody else fearful. needs to be involved. Yeah, because I'm always fearful, though, of that moment where it's like you go out to public together and then, like, you run into, like, the, the uh, like, a certain person. It's like, oh, this is my friend. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm a friend, motherfucker. Oh, okay. Like, right. that's kind of like the... See, that, that's where it gets really sus. It's yeah. like, uh-huh. like, let's say I run into you in public and I'm with my man and I'm just like, oh, hey, this is my friend, you know, yeah. so-and-so. And then... Like, they look at you like... And I'm just like... Right. <laughs> oh, right. is that one? Raise my mean? eyebrows and pucker my lips. I'm just like, <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> <"What?"> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, it's definitely. I don't know. I, I think that relationships, especially for our generation as a whole, is just. Oh yeah. Kind of, kind of fucked. Because I mean, the whole like idea of posting somebody, yeah. you know, because like obviously people will kind of like start getting into relationships and stuff. And they'll be like, well, there has to be a certain amount of time before, like, I actually post that. Right. And it's, to even think about that as an, like, that concept as a whole is just so crazy to me. Like, right? you have to, like, social, like, publicly, like, post that I'm in a, I'm in a committed relationship. So, other, like, I don't know. I just always felt on the boat, like, I don't need people's approval. Mm-hmm. I'm just more excited. You know? Yeah, like, like, you're excited about it, and you're like, hey, yeah. I want everyone to see how great this is right now. Yeah. Which, I mean, I don't feel like there's any issue with stuff like that, where it's just kind of like, hey, this is some cool thing. I mean, it's the same as just, like, posting in general on social media about yourself. Yeah. But it's involved with another person who you love. Right. You know? But then it's, like, another thing where people are doing it for the specific attention of being like, hey... We're dating. This is our every single day actions of what we do, and it's like, hey, keep some of that to yourself because yeah. that's kind of like, like I don't know, special to you. Well, yeah, I think it takes away from the whole idea of a relationship because it's supposed to be like a yeah, partnership. It's yeah, it's intimacy. It's yeah. like a, I don't know. It just social media in my eyes really is just kind of not great. It's yeah. kind of toxic, but you have to figure out how to work with it. It's yeah, totally absolutely. Make it not toxic. Mm-hmm. Alicia said, my relationship is private. Only my family and close friends know. Same with his. It's honestly the best thing considering we both, we are both private. Yeah. 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 That's one thing that like, see, the thing is, is like, I'm not a super private person just in general. I mean, like about some things in my life. Yes. Sure. But I can like imagine myself not dating like also a super private person. And trying to picture that relation, like that relationship, just in general, is kind of like an interesting concept of kind of how are we going to portray that, just in general. Um, yeah. It's like, are we going to keep a lot of it to ourselves, or since we're not super, like, private people, are we going to post? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I look at posting as a very interesting thing because, like, doing pod. I, I tell everyone this, and I live by this 100%. If I decided that I don't want to be creating any type of content anymore and grinding the podcast and the streaming and all that life, I probably would get rid of 90% of my social media. Mm -hmm. And I probably would get rid of, you know, all the Facebook stuff. I would, well, I would have like a very personal one with like a handful of people. Same with my Instagram. And I would just not be a part of it because I just feel like, it's not that I don't care about other people. Yeah. I'm very interested in my in the people who are in my inner realm, but I don't care to share. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, I don't like I like I'm doing good. I don't know. It's Yeah, it's kind of like, like do, uh, does other people give a fuck? That's the thing is like yeah. Yeah. You people know? who don't go it's like kind of like that question of like if somebody doesn't go directly to you and be like, "Hey, how are you doing? How yeah. is life?" Do they really care? Yeah. That's the question. Well, and then that, that's the thing is like everyone that I want to talk to, I have a way to get a hold of them, either text or like mm-hmm. Snapchat or something like that. Yeah. Some so sort of thing having like likely. a Facebook or posting shit like who cares. Like yeah. I really think that it, a lot of people are going to turn that too if they're not trying to make their not trying if they're not trying to monetize their life in some sort of way through social media. Mm-hmm. What's the point of having it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And like that's the thing is like. I'm like I post a lot, and a lot of it is honestly. I have to drain the main vein right now. Are you so. draining? Oh, drain the main. I was like, what's the main vein? I'm a dumbass. That's what it is. I'm the right here. Yeah. <laughs> We're dead. 
<laughs> Go ahead and continue your conversation. I'll just <laughs> no, I, I think social media is heckin' strange, and I yeah. think that business wise, it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, I mean, I'm sure we could. I'm sure Stingray and I could sit here and talk about how social media is the way to go for growing a business, but that's besides the point. I think that as a personal user experience, unless you're on social media to obtain entertainment, Mm -hmm. actually posting is the point. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's kind of like the thing of, I enjoy posting and stuff like that, but I realize that I only do post like a lot when I know that I'm going to be doing something that I need to kind of like be getting views for in a sense. Like when I'm coming on this podcast, I mean, I definitely have posted more of my story than I've ever posted like in a bit. And then the same thing whenever I have like a podcast with Holly or if I want to do something that like to bring attention to, I'll kind of like lead up to it in posts and do all that stuff. But I mean like, Especially Instagram, I forget I even have it sometimes, yeah. and I'll post on occasion, and I'm like, oh, I don't understand how people post regularly, like, on the dot, but I feel like if I had something that to, I wanted to, like, kind of keep right. Or a reason to grow it. Yeah, exactly. I, and I think that's kind of why social media is so interesting now, I think that's the evolution, is it's no longer, like, people just don't really care about like your day-to-day updates unless you're someone of influence Mm -hmm. so unless like posting on social media unless you're trying to bring attention yeah i don't think anyone really wants to see that anymore yeah no and like i mean it makes sense where it's like some people because i mean i definitely like i don't know if it's like i'm a suit that was a scary face that was that was absolutely terrible. He like <laughs> closed it and looks at me like, <laughs> and I was like, that genuinely brought fear into my heart. Looking at that, I completely forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> like that scared the shit out of me for some reason. But anyways, yeah, or if you like, um, I always think like, yeah, I have people who will be like, oh my gosh, I love this content. But it's a, like, you know, it's a very small amount of people mm-hmm. who are like, wow, no, I actually, like, watch this, I interact, all that stuff. And yeah. they're like, okay. Okay, what juice to say? Uh, I know, sorry. I, that's, juice! Um, Ali says, exactly. I feel like people think they need to have social media in order to stay close. I have friends mm-hmm. still from high school and we didn't keep, it, keep in touch, but when we reconnect via phone calling or in-person hangouts, it's like nothing changed. No awkward vibe, and we still have the same connection as if we were talking every day still. Yeah, that's what I mean is, like, I feel like the there's no uh, intimacy with social media anymore, like, when you're trying to, like, make posts to, like, friends or family. See, that's how I feel about her, because Alicia, like, we were friends on social media for so long after I moved from Arizona, because she lives in Arizona, you know? And, I don't know, one day we just randomly started texting and... <laughs> talking in over the phone and facetiming and like it was weird to talk to her after so many years because like we were different but kind of still the same yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so and then ever since then i've just been <laughs> ever since then i've just been like we've been really close since then and we've been facetiming every other day or every day for the last like four years now well, it's weird and i think that's kind of what i i guess what i'm trying to say is like um if someone wants to communicate with me, just text or call me because I'm going to take that way more like, that's way more positive in my mind than just like commenting on a post I made. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Like, no. if you really like care about how I am, shoot me a call. Yeah, that's like, shoot I'm, me a direct message. It I'm means the same so much way. more. I'm the same way. With like, when I get comments and stuff, it's like, oh, yeah, I love this. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. But I am such a sucker. For personal invitations. Yeah. If somebody calls me or texts me and goes, hey, it would really mean a lot if you came to the thing or if you, like, if we had a call or something, like, just you and me, That's and they so sent me, like, better. a personal invitation, I'm like, I will absolutely be there, 100%. Yeah. Every single time somebody does that for me, I'm like, I will be there. I yeah. will do it. That event like i feel like i feel like, I feel like anybody fire, right? anybody would feel that way about anything you yeah know like, I mean? like if somebody goes personally to you and goes, hey. It would mean a lot if you came to this thing for me, please. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would love to see you there. 
I immediately am like, okay, yeah, top of the priority list. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Or like, for instance, like if, if Alyssa came to Utah, I'd be like, hey, Lit, or hey, Cass, like, Alyssa yeah. is coming to Utah. You need to clear your schedule for this weekend. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll clear the schedule. We're good. Or I'll bail on everybody. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. I'm like, I will figure it out. If somebody comes to me and is like, let's do this, but it has to be like, they message me personally yeah. and it's like somebody that I have a connection with in the sure, first place. Sure. Obviously, if it's like some random person yeah. you don't know. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you want to come to the bar, sweetie? <laughs> yeah, then I'm kind of like, uh, never mind, uh, block. You know, but if it's somebody that I know, that definitely means so much to me. And it's happened a few times actually in like the past couple months where people have reached out to me for like personal invitations where they're like, hey, it would mean a lot to me if you actually came to this thing. Yeah. And I'm like, I will be there every single time they people have done that for me. I am there 100% yeah. of the time. Well, and like, and to flip on the, the opposite side of this, right? Like that dopamine feels great when you start getting likes and comments and all that type of stuff. And I do think that we are now, I don't want to, I feel like it's an easy gratification on social media now that we like all yeah, kind yeah. of start craving a little bit where it's like you make a post and you're like, Oh, they got 30 like, likes. Yeah. I feel great. You get that little dopamine surge. You're like, you know, what's weird though is, so I used to get that same like dopamine, you know, like off social media, but, and this is like three years ago, I used to get so hyped if I got like over a hundred likes on Instagram or if I got like 40 likes on a Facebook post or something. And lately I've just been like posting freely and just not doing like not caring about whatever. And I'm still getting those amount of likes. Like, you know, I post an Instagram picture, it gets like 150 likes and I'm just like, mm, you know, like yeah. thinking about my next post and then I'll post on Facebook. It gets like 60 70 likes on the status and i'm just like mm. you know and I, I've, I've become so numb to it i feel no. like and even my snapchat like my mom was so like shook by like how many views i got on snapchat and she's like oh my god you get like four or five hundred views and i'm like yeah she goes i get like 17 and i'm just like <laughs> yeah and then yeah she's like oh my god like you have all these people watching your life and i'm just like yeah i do and i don't know it's weird like i've become so like numb and mm -hmm. like blind to it i guess not blind but because i can see it but yeah it's weird because now that i have all these viewers and all these likes and all these even on tiktok now i'm getting a following now on tiktok and i'm getting thousands of views on tiktok and it's it doesn't it doesn't do it doesn't give that same feeling yeah and so that's why i'm just i don't know it's i weird. think that's with a lot of things in life once you do it for so long it just kind of because i have this conversation about gaming because oh. like I grew up a gamer, I grew up always playing video games, yeah. And I really had to have a conversation with myself because they weren't, they didn't feel the same anymore. It wasn't giving me the same like gratification. Yeah, yeah. It just like I remember like playing games as a kid, and like I would just sit there and be like, I love it. I could do this. I could keep playing. I I want to keep playing. And yeah. now it was more like I was like, I'm just doing this because like it's comfortable. Yeah. Like, I get into a game just to spend time because that's what I've always done. And they just don't, like, the, the, the meme, like, they just don't hit the same anymore. Yeah, it becomes more of a habit rather yeah. than kind of, like, a joyful thing that and you're doing. And I think yeah. when something becomes yeah. a habit, it's no longer exciting. You don't yeah. get that rush. You don't get that, that dopamine that you're craving. You don't get that. And then you realize, like, fuck. Like, Am I really yeah. happy now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I mean, I realize you definitely have you've started doing gaming mm -hmm. streams again. Yes. Is that kind of like have you kind of figured out a different groove to go into? I think so, yeah. I think I think for me gaming I had to shift my mindset on gaming because I used to be really competitive okay. with it. Oh. I used to play a lot of like competitive shooters and want to be the best. And then I realized I'm like I don't have the time to be the best. Yeah. I'll never be the best at a video game. And it, it's not going to... It, it made me very unhappy to sit and play video games. Yeah. So now I just stream games that have fun. And they're fun again. I'm yeah. playing games that I want to play, not what I think viewers want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Alicia said, do you know what bothers me when someone posts on Facebook saying, I'm going to delete people <laughs> for who don't like my posts? Why are we friends? It's like, ew. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. I think about that with, like, any kind of social media who's like, oh, I'm deleting Snapchat, y'all. Like, if you want my number. And I'm just like, you're not really going to delete Snapchat. Like, I've seen that so it. many yeah. times. Or or those people who are like, oh, I'm going to delete Twitter because I need a break from social media. It's like, okay, if you need a break, just don't open the app. Like, yeah. 
And yeah, it's like, or one, like delete it. Don't like tell everybody that like. You're don't gonna announce it. it. Like if you're that pressed or upset about social media, just delete it and don't say shit. You I know think there I mean? are like, a lot of people who are highly addicted though, and that's oh, the thing yeah. is that they don't want to either. Either they don't realize they are, or they just don't want to admit it. So saying that they're getting rid of it in their head, it's like getting rid of like a huge. This is like a huge deal to them. Yeah. yeah. But in reality, to a lot of people, it's like, why are you? Like, just don't go on the app. That's one I mean, thing I, I had that. friends that I don't want to name who were like highly addicted to social media, like multiple, multiple, like tens of hours a day, just bop, bop, going, bop, commenting, bop, bop, liking, posting, and then they realize yeah. like, oh shit, I'm addicted to this. Yeah, that's like, um, because I mean, my sister, I feel like, especially like her. I don't know, generation, I guess, in a sense, if that, like, makes sense. Her demographic. Like, her demographic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She, I mean, she'll do the whole, like, I'm deleting Snapchat, all that stuff, which, like, I mean, I live with her right now, and, like, every single time she kind of goes through a hard time, she's like, I'm going to delete all of this. She only deletes it for a very small amount of time, but it's, like, a very common thing, apparently, in kind of, like, her age group that that's what they do, Yeah. that um, when they're having a hard time, they're like, I'm deleting all this. And, like, the thing is, is, like, I post a lot, but it's mostly, like, shit posting. Where I'm just kind of, like, whatever pops in my mind, I just post. I don't care. I Like, I don't give a shit if people like it or if people, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of, like, bleh, like blurting yeah. out into the void. And just, like, some people like it on occasion. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't really think it, like, affects how I'm thinking about myself or anything like that. Um, but for some reason, kind of like a newer generation is coming through where kind of like that is how their value is based is the amount of likes, is the amount of comments, is the amount of like, you know, swipe ups it's on just things that they get. Scary. And so like it's like, oh yeah, not feeling well, I'm gonna be deleting my snap for a little bit. Text me if you need me. Yeah, the 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 idea of growing up through junior high and high school and you being valued on your social media, mm -hmm. that's very scary. To me. Yeah. Because, I mean, I remember when Snapchat first started, which, I mean, I was, like, late junior high, I think. Uh, wait, hold on. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. no. Um, I'm, I'm trying to acknowledge the comments, and I'm trying to, like... Wait, what did you say? Wait. So she well, says, so... I feel like you meet the best people online, playing online, though. That's how I met my boyfriend. I, and... Stingray mm, hit yeah. it right on the head. The real dope mean is the friends we made along the way. Yeah. That's what I had to realize Facts. about my gaming is like, yeah. I didn't ever actually, it was never about the games and I thought it was about the games. Mm -hmm. It was about the people I played the games with. Yeah. You know, some of my best friends right now in life are people I play with online. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like one thing I think of like, honestly, I'm not good at playing games at all. <laughs> Like, I don't play games at all, but yeah, and like, go I'm off. like, I'm so uncoordinated just in general, but don't get me wrong, like horror games and stuff like that, whoo, I love that stuff. And the thing is, is I didn't even realize until I played with another person that they're like, yo, this is hilarious. Because first of all, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just like dicking around making comments on things and they're like okay yeah maybe you should stream this because it's right. kind of funny just in general because you don't know what you're doing you're just kind of going with the flow and you're just having a good time that's, that's and that's what it's about yeah that that's i think that's where gaming got lost for a long time is it got turned into a really highly competitive thing where mm -hmm. a lot of people were losing their mind trying to be the best at whatever the popular like, game was gotta get this done i gotta get these in reality the fun is just they're they're made to have fun. Yeah, yeah, that's literally what games are supposed to be doing. Yeah. And I have been kind of, I definitely, I'm going to be hitting you up more on kind of like the whole streaming while gaming sort of thing. Yeah. Because Holly and I are trying to kind of like get that going. Go into that. I think it's more. a great idea. Yeah, because like especially with the whole thing of like we both don't know really how to game, and I feel like that's It'd kind of a, a demographic to really kick Absolutely. into. Wait, Wesley, <laughs> Alicia just commented something that we talked about on the last podcast. Oh. She said another topic Calvin and I talk about all the time is how we grew up differently compared to younger generation. Mm -hmm. Kids are attached to iPads and their cell phones to where us older people and we didn't grow up with the internet, especially kids on the reservation. Mm. We didn't have technology, and we played outside and whatnot. And we talked about remember that yeah, subject. Like, like, we're like we're like the last generation that played outside and like didn't really have internet. Yeah, I mean yeah. we we were we're the pioneer generation, meaning that 
Calford, I, and you, and like everyone around our age, mm -hmm. we grew up without cell phones in our pockets until we were in like seventh, eighth grade. So our yeah. our fun was our imagination. Like, don't get me wrong, there was video games and TV and all that jazz. But we all didn't have that. No, yeah. the, the best memories of my childhood were the shit where we were out until. You fucking know. 9 p.m. Yeah, night, yeah. You know? once, once the street lights came on, Good you had to go home. That's when I went home. <laughs> That's what my parents just <laughs> always tell me. My parents just always tell me when those street lights come on, you better get your ass on. Yeah, you better get home. Same. And we, and then the transition of us being the first generation to have to grow up with cell phones in our pockets and then smartphones in our pockets. And now we're starting to see the generations growing up without that with first only part. cell phones in their pockets. With only cell like, phones. I know, and like, which is crazy because I remember I made a TikTok like a few months ago, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I got a couple of hate comments on it, but oh, those no. hate comments came from like seven year olds, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, they were like little kids who were commenting shit on my TikTok, and I'm like. Holy shit! Like, where is your mother? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I, and, and I think back, I'm like, I didn't even have a phone when I was your age. Like, mm -hmm. I think the thing that scares me the most is, you know, I, you see the people who are raising these kids now who grew up on, or they're they're fully growing up on technology. Technology, yeah. yeah. And it scares me because it's if you don't really teach. And we've never done this in society because we're still new to social media. If you aren't teaching <coughs> your kids who are on TikTok, who are on YouTube, and all this stuff, that what they're seeing isn't real life all the time, I think they're going to grow up very quickly into an unrealistic, unrealistic expectation for their life. Yeah. Not every kid can grow up and be that that child who does the toy reviews and makes $50 million a month. Oh, uh, that's like, not a Like reality. Ryan Toys? <laughs> yes, Ryan, Ryan Toys. Toys. Yeah. I <laughs> like how you knew the exact No, because he's fucking... He, he, pops up my, he pops up my YouTube recommendations all the time, and I'm just like, I don't want to see this little kid. Like, there, I think he was... I think that family was making like six or seven million a month. Yeah. Oh, my God. They were making a but, lot of money, but, but they also got in trouble because they were like profiting off sponsors and ads that they weren't mentioning that were sponsored because yeah. when you get when you get sponsored or when you get ad money you have to mention have that to it's like, an ad yeah so they got sued for a lot of money because they weren't mentioning that it was like yeah. a sponsor or an ad for a toy company or whatever and yeah, yeah. It, but, but where i'm going with that though is like especially on like these instant gratification things like tiktok and instagram you know these 10 year olds 11 year olds who are starting to like try and come up with their own thoughts and opinions you know they see these grandish things you know they see kids who are not much older than them you know whipping lamborghinis and living in mansions the reality is, is that's just a facade they want you to think that they're super cool when in reality they're they're it's not they, yeah. they it's rented or they're renting or maybe they do have the money but they're the 0.001 percent who actually made it doing these things and if you expect that to happen if you expect to go viral when you get out of high school, life's going to hit oh, way hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> way harder than you think. I mean, like, I got into construction right after high school, so I, I realized a lot of shit about life, you know, like, yeah. right after yeah. high school. And I realized so much, like, seeing the way people are, you know, like, and then you have, like, the, this is so off topic, but, like, the door-to-door -door salesman guys or the summer sales guys, and you see the people yeah. who still work in fast food and... There were so many people who were still so hateful and spiteful towards me after high school, but they were still working at McDonald's. And I mean, it's a job is a job. I get it. But it's like, okay, like I did something for myself. I made a career out of construction. You know what I mean? Like I did so much for myself. And it's like yeah. a lot of the people that had hateful things towards me, I'm just like, what are you doing with your life? You know what I mean? And, and there's so many people like right after high school that are still doing the same things they do now and they don't realize what real life is because a lot of the friends that i have and that i know like they're living off mommy and daddy's money or grandpa and grandma's money still to this day and i'm just like you don't really know what real life is like because well i think too there's a lot of like we got programmed in high school and junior high to hate and I, I just don't know where it came from but like you know, we're told to hate people who are more successful than us. I don't or, know where that came from. We're either. told to hate the rich yeah. or we're told to hate the person who's above you. And I just never understood that concept because you can literally lose your whole life if all you do is sit there and hate on people. Yeah. Because you're not right? going to – they they achieved that because of all these 
on you know these reasons maybe they yeah. just fucking worked hard right maybe exactly. they just fucking worked hard like I, I just don't understand the concept of like sitting back and being like ah oh, well fuck that guy he, he he did that to make all that money it's like well, maybe he just fucking worked yeah, hard for that's it. that's my thing with like um i come across this actually <coughs> a lot with uh because my parents they're very successful right now and they yes. have a large house and shout out like dad. yeah shouts out my Shout parents out Cass's out, hot guess. dad. <laughs> Literally, Calford and Preston keep swiping on my solar stories, being like, wow, what a dilf. I'm going to be your next stepdaddy. And I'm like, I need you guys to fuck off, but also, that would be a great time. Listen, I'm <laughs> like, not going to say I'm not gonna say they're wrong. Oh, <laughs> stop I'm this! Like, stop like, this! Like, Cassie, Cassie, go to your room. Eventually, everybody's going to be like, dad reveal, dad reveal. And I'm like, stop. Okay. Yeah, when he showed up in khakis and some fucking <laughs> and some fucking flip flops, I was like, Woo! I, oh my god. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Another topic is your younger generation don't get disciplined like the way how we did. Facts. Oh, I yeah. I got my ass beat. That's I got my ass beat too. Like. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, on the topic of like, they definitely like they're successful. They have a large house right now. I have people, um, one time, what was it? Somebody posted something where I retweeted it and like commented and was like, oh yeah, no. Um, somebody was saying like, oh, you haven't had a struggle meal until you've made it on like tortillas or something. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, okay, tortillas from the store are expensive as hell. No offense. Yeah. Um, you haven't had a true struggle meal until it's on like that you know 20 cent bread or that mac fried. and cheese or Literally, ramen noodles, like, you know, like like the thing is i was like you haven't had that full struggle um and somebody commented and was like oh didn't you like they said something about like my parents or something like didn't aren't your parents like doing this and i'm like okay yes they are now but little do you know yeah like um, we were all poor like, yeah i was like 30 years of their fruits yeah, and their I was hard like, work and... this is them like working and like really grinding to get this <laughs> they've been working yeah. towards this for all of their life and the thing is Wes, have like, you seen Castle's house i don't know oh. you should come and see my house sometime. <laughs> she, she, can, she I, can i hang out with your dad oh 100 oh, he would I, love can that can i hang out with your dad i'm a little scared for that that's for sure no castle's <laughs> Cass looks, Cass looks in the like a big house. It's a nice like, house. Yeah. That's the thing. This isn't a nice house. And I'm so grateful for it. And the thing is, is like, little do people know, I used to live in this small little like rambler home that, um, I mean, I was telling you, I got stung by bees on the face almost every single night uh, for a very long time because there was a giant wasp nest in the walls that we couldn't afford to get rid of. And, like, all this stuff going on. And the thing is, is, like, my parents went back to work. Um, my siblings remember having our, like, make-your-own-sandwich day, which is really me just having slices of bread and little pieces of condiments, which was literally the only thing yeah. in our fridge, um, to put on the bread and be like, whoa, it's a sandwich! And they were like, that was so fun. Why don't we do that anymore? And I'm like, it's because we actually have fucking you're like, we, food. Yeah. You're that's like, we, why. I'll tell you, because <laughs> yeah. we were fucking poor. That's yeah, I was like, we that. were poor. I, you don't understand. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, we have money now. That's why we're like, do it anymore. dumb. <laughs> and so now when people comment and they're like, well, your dad's rich. What do you say? And I'm like, okay, but they've worked so hard yeah. for this. So, well, like, so it, I think that about? the same that mindset is exactly what bothers me. It's the same people who hate on people who are extremely fit. Mm -hmm. I don't get that. It's like, yeah, you're seeing them buff as fuck, ripped, beautiful, the, the yeah. big ass, the perfect body. You're seeing that now, but they've been doing this for like eight fucking years. Like, mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. and you're going to hate on them now? Like, oh, you probably use steroids or you're doing this or that. It's like, no, maybe it's I just fucking worked hard. It's okay, like but Wesley, a, to secret, do this. a secret is a lot of them do use steroids. <laughs> sure, but I, I promise steroids you this. Steroids apparently hit different. I, pro <laughs> I promise you this, though. If both of us were to use steroids and not work super hard, it, it's going to be really bad. Steroids only increases yeah. your energy and your muscle. Well, yeah, your, your muscles rejuvenate faster. Well, especially you still yeah. have to go to the gym and work. Yeah, you still especially, gotta like especially make back, that Especially work. back in the day, like back when I was like really in shape, you know, yeah. when I was all skinny and I was like getting toned. Yeah. And I remember I had like there was like two different guys. I'm not gonna name their names on here, but like there were two guys that were like, hey, like 
I can get you on a cycle, and I'm like, like a cycling bike, like a, like a, you yeah. know, like, like, a, like, oh. you wanna, like do a cycle class? They're like, no. A cycle? Oh. They're like, no, like a cycle of steroids. And I'm like, steroids? I'm like, what do you mean a cycle of steroids? <laughs> I was like, no. I'm like, I, I don't want to do that. But they're like, but they're like, how are you going to get big though? And I'm like, big? Like, I'm going to do it by lifting weights and like yeah. working out. Like, I'm going to get big that way. And they're just like, oh, well, I went. It's like, like a fast pass. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, I, I went on cycles and, you know, like, I got big that way. And I'm just like. But it, to me, it's still that mindset, right? It's the same mindset, yeah. like, people will say about your de- like your family being rich now. It's like, yeah, yeah, we're rich now, but motherfucker, you just didn't like, see the grind. Yeah, you, you were, just didn't see, you see the you're, final product. You're commenting on the final product like <laughs> yeah. you know shit. Yeah. It's like, no, like, <laughs> I always just tell people, like, <laughs> I remember the worst days when my parents were struggling. Like, what I had for dinner was, hey, it's time to go to bed. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, that yeah. was our dinner. Like, mm-hmm. go to like, bed. Like, it's bedtime. We'll do breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> like, we'll do like, a good breakfast, and that will Yeah, help. we got cereal yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah. That'll be your dinner. Uh, it's like... <laughs> juiced oh, up. Oh, wait. <laughs> Alyssa said, I feel like Cassidy. My parents divorced five, 15 plus years ago. My dad got fully custody... Full custody of us and uh you read that i don't know oh, we lived in a studio apartment for two years and there was five of us it's crazy to think how far we've come now we live at a Ch- in chandler and a big nice house it definitely changes oh it definitely changes you and you want to have the best yeah, yeah. no i could compl- like that's how it was yeah. for a while because like at some point you eventually get used to kind of like you know the struggle and stuff like that because it's kind of like okay this is how it is and you go through all of that and then once it like gets even better and you're like wow this is fantastic and then people just kind of like create that assumption with you that they're like oh that's what you've always had it's like no i've actually gone through a lot and i've gone through this whole you know i think there's a big thing too with like appreciation Mm -hmm. if someone doesn't appreciate that they're rich or whatever it is it's because they didn't necessarily earn it or they've always had that lifestyle Mm -hmm. there's something about reaching success that hits so much harder when you had to struggle yeah Yeah. it's more it's more gratifying it's it feels better because it's like man all those years were worth it Mm -hmm. you know finally paid off like you know i'm sure your dad feels that way you know i'm sure he feels Uh, i I mean we talked a little bit i don't want to get into it much but like you know there's i know a lot of people in my life who took a lot of risks and like they put not only themselves but their family in situations that they knew like weren't the best in hopes of striving for this amazing potential and then when it pays off like god damn like you know how can you not be proud yeah and i i don't know it it, the hater mindset just is so it doesn't make any sense it's disgusting like why why can't you just be proud of us like just be proud and just like think like okay like i strive to be like you guys Mm -hmm. not fucking hate and talk shit you know what i mean like when when i see people who are extremely successful all i want to know is like how How did you do do it it? how did you do it i want to fucking tell you how like proud i am yeah no. even though i don't my opinion doesn't mean shit like I'm still like it's cool to see successful. People. Yeah, and that's like kind of like um I don't know if you guys believe in kind of like uh what is it like Osho uh the like evil eye. I am not familiar. Um, uh, which is kind of like in like Bruja, I, don't, I don't I don't believe in that. <laughs> uh, that sort of thing where like somebody um it basically comes from like when somebody is jealous of you and oh. when somebody sees you and they're hateful towards you. Because see, of the in Navajo that you have. culture, we have a word for that, but anyways, just. But yeah. like, yeah, it's, mm. it's, I saw somebody actually make a post and they were like, kind of like listed all, they're like, there's a lot of different names in different languages for what this is. And it's usually just kind of like the eye of jealousy mm. and just like yeah. they see it and they're like, they're jealous of it. They want it, mm-hmm. but they don't realize where it comes from and the struggle you've come from. And they just kind of are jealous of this specific point and yeah. they kind of are hateful towards you. And it's kind of a similar thing yeah. towards in the idea of karma of like you know you do good things you get good things but in the sense of like they are hateful towards you and sometimes that can cause you like goodwill not goodwill but bad will yeah is that the proper bad word will, bad will i, I don't think that's the word but like you know something similar towards that where um ooh. <laughs> Usually that's not like a good thing to have, obviously, but I've seen people kind of be like, oh yeah, no, people look at me like with that kind of like hateful eye and it just creates issues just in general. They like purposely create issues 
and being able to kind of like have a conversation with those people and being like, hey, that's, I need you to have this understanding and like kind of change your viewpoint. That's the big thing with anyone who really has a hater mindset or a jealousy mindset mm-hmm. or this like they get on social media and talk shit or whatever it is. Everything changes if they meet the person in real life. Yeah. You know, like I see that with like the celebrity thing a lot, which I when we when I talk about celebrities, I just don't understand it. Like I don't I don't understand like hating on someone because they're famous. I don't get that. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people do. Yeah. Like you can go read comment sections of really famous oh, yeah. people and it's so toxic. But then like if that if that celebrity that replies on a toxic comment it's like, oh, oh my like, god, oh. I didn't think you would reply. I'm, so, I'm actually and a big fan. Like, and, and, and it's like, oh my god, like so and so replied to this, oh. and they bashed a hater or they bashed a fan. And then it's like, they didn't bash anyone. They were just replying back yeah. to what yeah. they're saying. standing up for themselves. Or like, and I don't want to. I'm gonna take the floor for a second, like a long yeah, second. Okay. So take the floor. Take so, the floor. In Navajo culture, and you and I have talked about this before, and like on um, like my first podcast that I was ever on, Skinwalkers. Yeah. So. People in Navajo culture who do witchcraft, when you brought up the evil eye, that's what I kind of thought mm-hmm. about. People who do witchcraft and all of that crazy shit in Navajo culture, mm-hmm. it's always rooted through jealousy, which I don't know why. I mean, like, I've had recently too, like, witchcraft, jealousy stuff happen to me and my family. And it's crazy because it's like every time we have, like, a shaman or in Navajo, we say medicine men, you know, like every time we have a medicine man come to our house and they tell us like they do a little, you know, prayer on us, a little ceremony, whatever. They always just say, yeah, um, whoever's doing this to you is just jealous of you. It's always jealousy every single fucking time, which I don't understand because it's like, you know, I went from living in Page, Arizona to a little ghetto ass trailer park, you know what I mean? Like, and now we're living in Utah and like a nice apartment and you know what I mean? like we all have like our dream cars you know whatever yeah. like yeah, yeah. and it's like okay like these skinwalkers or you know you know lushies is what they call them in navajo it's like well why are they jealous it's like they, they knew how we used to live but it's like they don't really regard that and they always kind of like do things to us and they put little spells i guess you could say um, on us just because we're successful and it's like holy shit it's like why are you so fucking jealous for like <laughs> obviously like we worked so hard our whole entire lives to live in the city and to be successful you know like i mean i want to be i want to be richer than i am i want to like have more money than i have sure. now but which anyone wants to you know but it's like why are these people who are doing witchcraft on us, like, why are they so jealous? Like, just get up off your ass and get think, a job. And... I think jealousy can truly take over a whole entire person's life mm-hmm. if you're not careful. I mean, you you typically associate jealousy with two primary things, money and relationships. You know, I don't know if any of you have had the displeasure of being with someone who is extremely jealous, but it can literally control every aspect of their life yeah. to a point of almost, like, psychosis in a way and i think that some people just truly don't know how to handle themselves with jealousy because it can be like your mind can really fuck with you if you have that part of your brain always running and Mm -hmm. i think that this idea of people who are jealous of you now because of your success like they probably just are wish that they were in your shoes so much but they just don't know how to like switch that mindset to like being like like respect it's like a, like I, yeah. I I guess the big thing is like I respect people who are successful versus yeah. like acting like it just, you, what that yeah. energy is so toxic for your, your and that, mindset. That's, that's the yeah. thing too. So like, I mean, this is gonna get really toxic in public or mainstream. I do not like the Kardashians because they're so successful, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not jealous of them. You know, and like I, I I you know like good thing they're rich, they're famous. You know, but like. Whenever I think badly about any of that, any member of that family, I think, okay, well, get up off my ass and... Yeah, I, I, I'm not particularly a fan of the Kardashians, but I think the people that, who are, I don't, this is the thing, is like, I don't know who's making the decisions, if they are, or if yeah. they have teams around them, fucking brilliant people. 
Absolutely. Yeah, they are so goddamn it's intelligent. it's making them richer and richer as yeah. the years yeah. go by. And it's like, holy shit, it's like, you think about like, oh my god, like maybe I need to change, um, change myself, you know, like... I think the Kardashians and what's the other two sisters? Oh, uh, Kardashians and wait, okay, so the Jenners. Kardashian the Jenners. Jenners. There we go. I, this I think this is the first family in the social media age that has been able to keep such high levels of relevancy for like yeah. twelve years for now. this long. So many. You know, it, it's it's like you can hate them or love them, but they it's impressive. They've been keeping yeah. themselves they've relevant for so right, long. Yeah. That's not an easy thing to do because especially nowadays, like. You become relevant, and the next day you can be unrelevant. You can be canceled, and then you're just living yeah. in the past, you know? And, or the whole idea of, like, there's always something new coming out every day. Like, there's yeah. so much content. Like, you could literally just get blown back into the Shit, dust. I could become TikTok famous tomorrow, and yeah. I could be the new like of the town, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. it's so crazy and how fast and crazy everything happens, and it's like, I don't know, like... <laughs> It's insane, honestly. Like, wait. I was literally thinking... <laughs> I feel like I keep wait, cutting why? you off. Wait, no. I'm just trying to acknowledge the comments. So, wait, so what, what, Alicia what? said, Honestly, people who have jealousy or... Oh, you read oh that. <laughs> okay, I will read it. Honestly, people who have the jealousy or hating mindset, they don't bother me. The ones who do are the ones who think they're better than uh, you saying, Broke people are not my vibe or I don't speak to broke. Oh, it's so annoying. Well, that mindset's... That, yeah. Those are people with a facade issues where they actually think yeah. that they're better than people. Yeah, where they're kind of like, mm, I don't speak broke, <laughs> no sorry. No one's better than anybody when it comes no. to financial It's insane. I'll say, yeah. recently more... Oh, I have recently more, learned more about the pagan world, and honestly, I feel like it just adds some more extra holidays for me to celebrate. Yeah, honestly. I feel that. Yeah, I mean, I have never, I've never shunned anyone for being broke. You know, like if someone's, like, let's say, like, let's say if Cass was broke, and <laughs> <laughs> if, if I was broke, if Cass was broke and she had no money, I would just be like, bitch. hey, That's... you want to go out? And she's like, I don't know, man. I'd like, I got you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm that friend that like I got you. Like, if I have the money, then I got you. Like, oh. I just want my shoes. Let's, let's ignore that right now. I, I, I think the reason why I. Like the whole idea of like I don't spoke I don't speak to broke is such a dumb thing is because wealth is very very subjective because like oh, yeah. for I bet if we talked about you and I compared what number of money in the bank would make us the most happy we wouldn't even be in the same ballpark oh yeah because for me for me I always tell people six grand a month I would be happy the rest of my life. Oh, oh fuck yeah! Yeah, that's not a lot of money in the grand uh, scheme. Of it's not, no, it's but not. it would make you happy. But yeah. it makes it livable, really, wherever you want to be. Yeah, where a lot of people are like, man, if I was making like thirty grand a month, that's what would make me happy. But then on the flip side, there's people right now who are like, man, if I was bringing in fifteen hundred dollars a month right now, I'd be so happy. Yeah. So like, it's so subjective. So it's hard to like anyone who has this like, I don't speak to broke. They just don't understand humans they don't understand real life yeah no for real like the thing is is like my favorite thing and like i didn't even realize until i kind of like tried to go out into different circles and meet new people that i realized that this wasn't a normal thing was me and my friends going out and each of us being like i got you yeah i got you and it's just kind of like a back and forth of like we're paying for each other's things just constantly it's never like a oh you actually you owe me like this much money you owe me this it's like no i got you i got you i want you to come out with us i got you and that's also one of the things that like especially bella and like her boyfriend stony they have seriously spotted me on so much like so many things to a point where i'm literally like i this is also like the whole manifestation thing where i'm like when i'm successful i am going to take you guys out on a good ass vacation yeah. because you guys have been probably my biggest supporters yeah. no matter what if they're going somewhere and i'm like i really like i'm saving money i cannot go they both will be like we have like we got you yeah you were fine you don't need to pay us back there's been so many instances where that happens to where i'm like okay when i'm successful you guys are taken care of because i think there's a lot of people too who just like don't realize that the fun isn't about the location mm -hmm. it's about the people you're with yeah and like bella and stoney obviously value you the experience with you overvaluing the dollar that this experience is going to cost 
which if more people did, you'd have more fucking fun. Yeah. Like, it, it's yeah. bring the people that you want to bring. And if you have to cover someone, why does it matter? Like, yeah. it doesn't oh, yeah, mean, no. like, they are taking advantage of you. Mm-mm. Just fucking cover them and then have a great time. You're not going to remember the $30 yeah. or $50 or whatever it is. Like, yeah, it's no. about the experience. And that's, like, the thing. Like, I don't make a whole ton of money, like, right now, especially uh, just hourly. Because, I mean, I'm going to school. I'm only yeah. working, like, you know, a part-time job. And all that, but if I want someone to go with me, I'm like, no, I got. If you don't have the money, I got you. Yeah, exactly. And even like, even in a sense of like, I'm wanting to treat someone, I will treat someone in that moment, and I don't think about the price because I'm like, money is okay, one of I'm those good. things that everyone has a different outlook. For me too, like, do I want millions of dollars in the bank? Of course, no one's gonna say they don't. Obviously. But would I rather spend my money and have all these? awesome experiences and have this great life and remember all these cool things growing up yeah i'd rather have that than sit on my money yeah yeah Yeah. i don't know like it's just money money is really crazy because and no matter how much money i have you know i've had 13 1300 or thirteen thousand dollars on my account before i've had a lot of money i've had 13 cents on my account before you know and I'm not a religious person, I'm not a Bible person, but, you know, the Timothy 6.10 verse, you know, like, money is the root of all evil. Yeah. It is, because money can make you evil. I mean, I, I try to not let it get me that way, and, like, I've never been evil over money, but it's, like, I keep that in my mind all the time, just because money can make you an ugly person if it lets you, yeah. you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know. There's definitely aspects of the money that is very disappointing in my eyes like i'll keep this brief but like this is a little bit off topic but goes with the idea of money is like you know i have this person who is really close to me who you know financially they don't have a lot of money but they have a health thing that they were born with and it is not curable it's only Mm -hmm. you can only buy stuff that will help you survive longer and the people who are creating this and selling it, they they make it for like two or three dollars, and then it costs like three or four hundred dollars. We're talking about diabetes right now. Yeah. Okay. That's oh. Bad. Pharmaceuticals. Fucking insulin. <laughs> the way that they have jacked up those prices is is disgusting. I don't think they realize insane. that they're like, they're, killing, they're killing, people. killing people. They're literally for killing money. people. It is what like I what six hundred something. To get just a little bit of insulin. Okay. Have fun, Pam. <laughs> it's just like stuff like that. And then there's a whole other situation with like how fucked up Medicaid is. And, you know, if you need to be on Medicaid for whatever reason, you actually can't make over a certain amount of money. Otherwise, they won't cover you. So you can't better yourself financially. You have to stay at this point and that's That just it. blows my mind. Like when, I don't know. It's systems that are built to keep people just in little brackets. Customers. Yeah, it's just kind of like that's literally how it's built, which is absolutely disgusting to I, see. And, and like, I think capitalism is fantastic. I think a free market is fantastic, but I think that there are specific things that require restrictions. Yeah, and being able to make hand over fist on medicine that, like is saving people's lives and you're profiting off of it like uh-huh. a lot i'm i'm cool with people making yeah. money people shouldn't make money doing this oh, yeah. Yeah. but you're making what like 500 percent. yeah you're like you're making a little too much money here but i don't know that, but like, i'm i know a lot of people would disagree with me they're saying like well fuck it like yeah people are gonna do it so yeah because like that's the thing is like i mean obviously you know my dad yeah. very capitalist and like i was you know, raised very capitalist, and like I still am like I am a capitalist whore. Praise be. But yeah. uh, the thing is, is there is certain lines that I draw just Same. in kind of my values in general. And like I mean, when he mentioned uh, when Calvin mentioned kind of like the, the Bible verse, Timothy sixteen. Yeah, 10? something where like money, you know, is the root of all evil. And I start to think of that as more of like less of like money. Because in that time, money would have been more of just kind of like tradable goods. Sure. Just in general, which means physical goods that you yeah. can keep. 
And uh, I think of that as more of like, that is the physical evil, kind of like, you know, your actual like possessions mm -hmm. in a sense, and that you need to actually value the people that you're with. Yeah. And valuing the people that you're with is what then makes, leads to the value of making sure that everybody around you is comfortable. Are you okay? Calvert? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing. I'm sorry for laughing. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. You good? A little simple. Did you miss a stare? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We were having a deep conversation and then we just hear you fall in the background. Are you okay? Yeah, wait. I'm sorry. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> my el my elbow and knee hurt, but <laughs> I might feel it in the morning. But <laughs> oh my god, can they bend? Oh yeah, yeah, go like yeah, this. Yeah, I can, can you bend? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. This the third step <laughs> down a. I missed the step. Did it disappear a little bit? <laughs> there you go. Boom. And we like, we're like having a good, like, yeah. we're like, oh, yeah. And then we hear a bump and we're like, I didn't know what it was. And then I saw your phone like on the ground. I was like, oh, you fell. Oh, the system oh, almost shit. forces single parents into super low paying jobs in order to have their children in health care for the state. If you have a child who is medically complicated, you already have so much to deal with. The adding additional stress of financial struggle is horrible to do to people. Absolutely. I know multiple single parents wait, where on, they don't have... Alyssa said, you're done. You're done. Oh, I was, she said, in Navajo, kare, like, kare means like, like, you're done. Like, you're done. <laughs> like, anyways. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I know like multiple single parents who have had situations like that where the thing is, is they keep like, they keep you in a bracket. They, yeah. they don't want you to go anywhere. And that is their specific want. Yeah. I mean, I, to, to play like the dickhead in this, right? Like becoming, uh, no, I don't want to get into no, that. But like, what? Devil's advocate. No, no, no. Not devil's advocate, <laughs> but like, uh. Oh, there's a bar in Phoenix called devil's advocate. <laughs> Is oh, a good that's bar. Cool, that's what I wanna... They have two for one nights on Thursdays. Ooh. When you go to Thursdays, no, I, I, <laughs> it's there's parts of our system that are very flawed and that we still need to work on. And I hope that over time we'll start to see changes in the sense of let's value humans more versus other, you know. See, my my main reason to try to get rid is because. I feel like the poor are just drowning right now, and the gap is insane. Yeah, yeah, like the poor are drowning and they're they're dying out and they're becoming homeless, and that's like my main motivation. Like, oh my god, I need to get rich somehow. Or, I mean, obviously construction is good money, so I need to like stay in construction and get rich because eventually, one day, what if the construction workers who make good money are going to become the poor? You know what I mean? Like. So now I'm just like, okay, fuck, like, I need to, like, get TikTok famous, get YouTube famous. <laughs> like, yeah. I need to do something right now to get rich, because... Yeah. I think the reality, a lot of stuff is going to drastically change in the next 10 years, just because, like, we're not going to be able to keep up with a lot of things, and... You Have know, you seen gas prices lately? Well, gas prices, housing prices, I mean... Everything. Like, the everything. cost of living is pretty... Yeah. Everything's getting so crazy here in Utah, and it was never like this five years ago. I, I think either what's going to happen is we're going to have a mass exodus of Western people who can't keep up with the prices to more. Everyone's Midwest moving. And everyone's East. moving to Arizona. Everyone's moving to Utah. Everyone's moving to Colorado. Rich people are moving to well, rich people are moving to all these different states, and that's why the price of living is going up because they make more money. So yeah, they're like, okay. no, exactly. That's what I'm saying is I think that a lot of people who are middle class and lower are going to realize, like, it's not worth uh, it to live here when we could go live a fantastic life in Iowa. Or in oh, Arizona, yeah, like, yeah. or on the reservation, you know, you know what I mean? like, yeah. the, the big, the big mindset, like, I've been, I've done a lot of research in this, like, because I, I don't know if my permanent residence will be in Utah because of how expensive it is to live. 
Yeah. If I were to take the combination of Bieber and myself's income, and we were to move to like certain parts of Texas right now, we're living in a mansion. I would say, I don't know, you guys want to move to the East Coast? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've been planning with a few friends. We basically have been, I mean, I went to brunch with a couple of friends, uh, Bill and Stoney. I talk about them a lot. Secretly, I may or may not be just basically in a throuple with them. Yeah. They're just like a couple that I hang out with all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, we're a throuple now, right? And they're <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And so we just have been talking about moving to the East Coast. That's basically all we've been talking about because it's so much cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. out there. And it's like a lower cost of living just in general. And we've just been talking about it a lot. So, I mean, if you move out to the East Coast, I know, I really I'd fuck think with that. that. I'd fuck with that. I really think that. that's in my, you know, five, ten yeah. year plan is like, in the next it's few just, years, you're like, might unless as well. things change drastically here, like housing wise and financially, like, I just don't see myself wanting to stay somewhere where, like, I mean, I'm, we're, Bieber and I are literally sitting on money just hoping for a housing market. Oh, uh, my elbow is just burning. This. Oh. It's okay? it's like carpet burn, but it's. Oh. I'm How fine. You land on the road? I like I go like this. Well, I'm like, you want me to cut well, it? Your, well, your stairs are carpeted, so my elbow. Oh, you hit the carpet. Yeah, I gotcha. But anyways, just, yeah, oh, okay. go on. <laughs> no, I just like, you know, it sucks to be sitting here just waiting for like a housing crash because like mm -hmm. we can't afford anything decent here. God, I bet you can go back in your previous she was like, episodes it's and it's just us talking about like, oh, I just can't wait until the market crashes in a year. And it's like Four a year later, later and we're like, I just can't Please. wait until the market crashes crash. <laughs> uh, soon, hopefully. Oh my God. Please. I would give anything. Can we shout out to uh, our buddy Aron Calford who just bought a house from Dogecoin Money? Yo, Dogecoin Money? Aaron, he bought that off Dogecoin Money. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Shouts out. We used to talk about Dogecoin in our fucking... Well, yeah, we, you explained to me what Dogecoin was, but I didn't think it was, like, he enough didn't to get a house. He didn't slow down buying yeah. it. I think he... I, I don't want to say how much he made, bucks, but I know sure. how much he made, and it was a fucking big need, chunk of change. You need a sugar baby? Oh, my God. So, someone <laughs> subscribe to Prime. My guys! Hey, oh! Stoodle! Also, Bieber, Bieber said it's Montana for me. What, Montana. What, what's that? The state, Montana? Mo it's well, really I know what Montana is. But, like, why by, is like, that? moving to and so yeah. here, oh. because the cost of living here is, like, starting to raise Dude. up and up and up. That it's just kind of like, we're going to need to move. I mean, the thing is, is mostly, I'm just planning on taking advantage of the cheap, I mean, the cheaper uh education here just because it's like technically i'm going to the u which officially they've made it to like the whole like pac 12 yeah. sort of thing um so i'm taking advantage of that because it's a little cheaper than if i went literally anywhere else yeah once i get a degree me i'm out of here me i'm out of here me going to weaver state university but i'm dropping out <laughs> no but you know that the cost of living is going you know how you know because back in 2014 when i first moved it not first but when I moved townhomes to an apartment, I was paying eight hundred, or I wasn't. But my parents were at the time eight fifty max for a three bedroom. Tell me why right before move right before we downgraded to a two bedroom because my sister moved out on her own. Now we're paying eleven eighty for a two bedroom. No, I mean it's just like it's gone up so. It was almost fifteen hundred bucks roughly just for a two three bedroom apartment, like. It's it's crazy right now. It's it's because there's so many people here now. So many people moving. And now like, McDonald's is like we're paying thirteen dollars an hour. I'm like fuck. I wish I was making thirteen dollars an hour when I work here. Like Jesus. Amazon is starting positions now at twenty. Twenty certain positions at twenty. My sister works at Smith's as a overnight stalker, and she what makes the twenty. Fuck. It's so crazy. Like people are making more money, but. The more money people make, the, the higher the is. Yeah. 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 I really think if I were to give a best guesstimate on what's going to happen, and I do not have any degree in politicals or anything like that, mm -hmm. I think that we will get universal income in the next 10 years. God. What's universal income? Universal income would be like a stimulus every like month. Like every month, yeah. Because I think that there's no way that we're going to be able to, that the average... Sustain our, sustain our living... So they're going to have, and universal income has been talked about for a long time. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're seeing results of stimulus checks. We're seeing like 
it did benefit a lot of people. It did. If if the idea and I like I said, I don't know anything about economics. I don't know if it was a positive or not. I've heard it's a positive, but if people had a a universal income to try and at least cover some of their expenses, oh, in theory, right? If you're covering your expenses with money, you're going to then spend your money on buying things, yeah. which then in turn would stimulate the economy. Which is a constant cycle. Yeah. It, which is better. It just, it is better. I, I think the only negative is it would devalue our dollar more. Yeah. Dollar wouldn't be worth a shit if everyone is spending, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know. It, it's just a theory. And, and like, the thing is, is like, I don't know. I remember when kind of like the whole, like, you know, the first election, like, going on with like whole like you know socialism yeah. stuff like that and people were like if you were voting for wait what is his name bernie yeah if you were voting for bernie people were kind of like go go to venezuela that's where socialism super awesome yeah. and like obviously venezuela is like not you know right not good right now but the thing is is you also have to take an account of venezuela's leader at the moment um, which the thing is, is they have had an insane amount of corruption going on, yeah. and it's been the same leader for a very long time. That's the thing that the reason why I stay out of politics is people want to act like they actually know what they're talking about <laughs> yeah. when they like make comments like that. That's like I don't know anything about. I don't know if socialism would work in America. I don't know. Do we even really know if capitalism is going to work in the next two hundred years? We don't. We don't have know. Any idea. Yeah, it's it, we're we're learning as we go. So like, like, it's just all speculation. Alicia said that's so crazy. Utah two bedroom for twelve hundred, not to up step or anything. But shoot, when I had a two bedroom home rent, we were paying fifteen hundred with separate utilities. Phoenix is, is fucking rich. No, no, yeah, no. Phoenix, Phoenix is expensive. Phoenix is, Phoenix is getting up there now. I noticed yeah, that, too. No. That's what she was telling me. Like, Phoenix is, like, really stepping up their shit lately. Like, Yeah. Yeah, no, I remember. I still think about the whole fact of, like, obviously, you know, in hindsight, as a high schooler, <laughs> not a good idea. But the um, thing is... <laughs> Is when we were, like, seniors in high school, me and Holly obviously got on Tinder, and when you, like, up your age one year, you could be, like, 18 on Tinder. <gasps> yeah, That's we did that. Terrible. Don't judge. Don't judge. We were terrible. Did and you hear my gas? I was like, like, no. <laughs> no. And so the thing is, is also, gotta admit, we were completely, like, I wasn't on Tinder the whole time because I started dating, like, end of senior year, but she was. And I was very involved with her, like, kind of, like, yeah, yeah, life, yeah. obviously. And it was very transparent, like, in the bio, like, hey, by the way, I am 17. Hey, by the way. But the thing is, is, like, we have met people who had apartments at that time. And the thing is, is they were almost, what, like, 800 for, like, a two-bedroom? Yeah. And it was insane. I still think about that to this day, that I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. If I had that, <sighs> do you guys know Greenleaf? Oh, by Seven Eleven. Greenleaf, yeah. I don't know what okay. about Greenleaf. What? So no. it's right you know behind. It's right behind some those apartment complexes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a friend who lives in those. So when I was fresh out of high school, that was the cheapest spot. Oh, really? Um, and it was known for like they had like some shady shit go on there. I heard but, someone shake someone for a pizza. Yeah, that, a, pizza? <laughs> a pizza. I heard. I heard that story too. <laughs> yeah. But, but. They used to be about seven seventy five for a two or three bedroom. Yeah. And but like this was before they redid everything and like nice I had buddies now. who moved in and it was very like you could tell like oh yeah this is a cheap apartment. Yeah. They're like twelve fifty now. No oh, yeah I have a friend 15, who I think I have a friend who lives there right now actually and she pays about it's like for a two bedroom and it's a it is a small, small two bedroom, small two bedroom and yeah, it's about they're, 1200 they're, Yeah, they're tiny. Like, they're teeny dude, tiny. Dude, back in 2012, like when I lived in the townhouse, we lived in a nice three-story townhouse, three-bedroom. Oh. So nice. I had the whole basement to myself. I took it for granted back then, but a really nice, like rooms were all big, washer, dryer, big kitchen, big living room, 11 
11 something to the most. Do you know those then. really nice apartments that got built like maybe six years ago? If you're going north on Eaglewood Lofts? No, sorry. No, 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 no. So Highway 89, like here's the 7 Eleven, and then you're going this way towards like the old Smiths. There's like apartments that are kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so has, yeah. Yeah. I had buddies who moved. It's like in. it's like kind of by Mountain America, or like yes, right, right across from Mountain. Yeah. America. Okay, so I had buddies move in there right when they got done. They lived in the top floor. I think it was a three bedroom, beautiful. Like it was. Yeah, beautiful they're apartment. nice. I've been in them. Before. I think they were paying fifteen hundred between the three of them. Um, they're like twenty six hundred now. Oh, twenty six hundred for that same room. I think. Oh yeah. my god. Dude, nice apartments in fucking downtown Salt Lake are almost 3000 now. Like, it's so crazy. Like, Literally. You know when I was in electrical work? All that bullshit, like all that electrical bullshit? Dude, those, they were all one-bedroom apartments. They're fully furnished now, like hardwood floors, you know, like nice kitchens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they're going for about 1800 just yeah. for a one-bedroom. And it's so crazy how much the cost of living is going here. And then I'm kind of scared. I'm like, oh, my God, like... <laughs> Our rent is going to go up now. Like, it keeps going up because there's so many people moving here who have the wealth. That they're just like, oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. So many people from specifically <laughs> California. Yeah. No offense, California, but like. They but fuck you. They <laughs> have been coming in. There have been like these houses going up for sale and they've been buying them like fucking 3000 plus. Yeah, they hear $1,800. And they're like, like oh, say that's less. so cheap. Yeah. Oh, my God. Still, still said, uh. I have a one bedroom utilities included, except uh, where did that go? Except electric, ten minute from downtown Pittsburgh, so the biggest city. Pittsburgh um, for six hundred and thirty dollars. Wow! Oh my <laughs> god! Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, who else? Wait, wait, hold on. My family built a house in two thousand seven for like three hundred k. I think it was sold Just for like five hundred. Wow! My parents' house, the the one that we're in right now. They bought in ninety or two thousand for one hundred ninety eight. This house is this house is old, twenty years old. Uh, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's a house. I'm like, you got a lovely home. <laughs> you got a lovely home. There, there was a house just up the street, sold for four hundred. Are you serious? Four hundred k. Wow. This is now almost oh. a half a million dollar house. Oh my god. This like all is like making my head hurt. This house is beautiful. This. I love it. Yeah. Four bedroom. Yeah. Two, Four bedroom. Two and a quarter bath. Wait, oh Alyssa god. said that's how it is here in with California people and uh. snowbirds expensive. Oh, so snowbirds. So when I last went to Phoenix, like two months ago, roughly now, we we had so much trouble finding a hotel. We had so much trouble finding rental cars and everything like me and my friend had so much trouble just finding places and we basically had no other option but one of the bougiest hotels in downtown phoenix like we had no other option because and she was saying she was like yeah all the snowbirds come here like people were like yeah. like utah or like where it's cold because yeah, obviously yep. down in phoenix it's hot and she was like yeah she's like all the snowbirds come here like and so it's getting expensive and oh my god like thankfully like my friend paid for <laughs> My friend paid for our hotel. Dude, she paid eight hundred, almost nine hundred bucks, just for two nights. That's crazy. Oh my God. And but our hotel was nice. It was though, fucking moody. Yeah. But it wasn't like it wasn't. I don't think it was nine hundred dollars nice, but it was yeah. still nice. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that just goes to show like how much places are upcharging their stuff and how much like, like it makes me wonder like is everybody getting rich? Like how come I'm not getting rich? Yeah, you know like, what I mean? Who's like, getting rich? I want to know. Here, here's here's how crazy the Utah market is. We reached a milestone where the first house was sold for a million dollars over asking price. What the fuck? And that's how sought after uh, houses are right now because of the the demand and the amount of people moving here. That a house sold for a million over asking price. You know what's I'm crazy? So, so you know how you know how all of us were talking. Oh, let's move to Iowa. Let's move to, like to Montana. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing in a way because we all make a lot of money compared to... We're taking to, that to their... And now we're like, let's move to Montana. Does that and, make us the assholes? Yes. It does. Oh, be, my no, God. No, it, it does because we're moving to smaller states, <gasps> making the price of living go up in that yeah. smaller state. What, what's going to end up happening is the migration is gonna, just going to continue yeah. until there's nowhere that's cheap. Ah! And that's what's going to happen. If Let's say, hypothetically, we all start moving to like Midwest. All the people there who can't afford what we're bringing, they're going to move... All the way to the East Coast, 
and then there's going to be nowhere else for them to go. And then, and then eventually it's going to happen, like, almost opposite, because the people who were, like, last, it'll start going down yeah. so in they're prices, gonna start going and then it's going to start list, going well. right back. Because there's not going to be a demand anymore in California, because everyone <laughs> fucking left. So then the people are yeah. like, oh shit, well, here we go, full circle, I guess we're back in California until it's Holy shit. Ah. too much to... I hate economics. <laughs> economics. Economics. Give me your fucking money. Give me your fucking money. And that's exactly why I want to be oh, rich. Like I want to be rich because I want. I don't want to move out of Utah. Yeah. I mean, like, not gonna lie, I kind of hate it here, but I don't want to move out of here. Like, this is like my second home now, so yeah. I'm just like, if the living, of, if the cost of living wasn't more, like, I don't want to leave. Like, oh, no. I need to be rich so I can afford. The cost this, of this, here. this right here is the big problem too. That no big corporations is. are buying family houses to put them to make them rentals. Yeah, that is a big problem. Yeah, where it's kind of like, dude, no, let them be just because these people who have huge houses. amounts of you know credit lines and stuff will come here. They'll buy up 10, 15 houses without even a blink of an eye because they have plenty of money to do so. Yeah, it's like pocket change to them. Yeah, because like the thing is, is the biggest market just in general is housing. Real estate. Yeah, real estate. That's the way that you get money, which fucking sucks because <laughs> you people know, who don't have the upfront money can't. I just, get I just, I just really market. wish I was Jeffrey Star and I made eighteen million a year. <laughs> like, <laughs> God, I wish. Straight up. You drop a makeup up. line every like eight months. And a lot of a lot of people hate bill. Jeffree Star, but you know what? He's really Straight fucking up. rich, so I'm he's just very and he's smart. smart, so him and his team are very very smart. Oh, all right, guys. I think we're gonna call it. Um, mm. I want to give you guys the opportunity to plug anything you want to plug. I know you got oh, Holly shit. Cass. And oh yeah, um, Holly Cass mess around on Twitch. Give us a follow. We ooh. usually stream almost every Wednesday. We might be switching to Tuesdays. Wine I've Wednesdays. Been talking to her. Wine Wednesdays, exactly. Yes. So on Wednesdays, give us a follow. Holly Cass mess around. Or yeah, it's literally just Holly Cass mess around. If you just look us up, it's a great time. Still sad that our uh, most popular clip is me ending it with me saying, and we will both shit ourselves. <laughs> and I am kind of sad about it. But if you're into that shit, definitely follow us. That's for sure. Uh, my Twitter is apostasy. Uh, just literally a post and then ass in capitalized letters. And then with a Y, apostasy. Okay, so my plug is... <laughs> So I don't really have anything to plug. I mean, like, if you want to follow my TikTok, my Instagram, my Snapchat, anything that you want to find me on, it's literally... It's literally my first and last name. This is it. Calafredzani. Calafredzani, Z-A-H-N-E. If you're anywhere. the first person to actually get your phone to come through on the camera. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> you're yeah. like, oh, like here you go. Well, yeah, you just have to, like... Yeah, so Calafredzani... Anywhere, you, anywhere you nice. want to find me, just TikTok. Actually, no TikTok because I got banned on TikTok, so I oh. made a, I made a new oh, TikTok. You made a new one, yeah. But it's Calford Dots on TikTok. But other than that, everywhere else. Big Papa, thank you for coming in. Big Papa, good night, brother. Shouts out. How many times did people think it was Calford Zane? Everyone, uh, okay. my <laughs> teachers. Uh, bosses on jobs, like I remember everyone. That was one of the first conversations we ever had. Was like someone in chat was said something about like Zane, and you're like, oh. you're like fuck. <laughs> I'm like no, me? not no. Zane. No. Zane Malik maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Zane, Zane Malik. Did he do pillow talk? That's a great song. <laughs> I love that song. Oh my god. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us live. I hope you guys liked the new setup that we had and the content was a lot of fun tonight mm -hmm. uh, remember to go look at all the socials super active there we'll be back next week on friday at 6 p.m for a, another podcast um it will be with an individual over zoom so that'll be a lot of fun Ooh. and then game streaming throughout the week at 6 p.m mountain standard time and uh yeah smooth uh tomorrow true crime drunks we will be covering the Davidin's Cult, Davidin's oh, Cult, Sunday, Smooth Brain Life. Just come on, guys. If you don't, if you're not following Smooth Brain Life already, 
I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, follow it. Jeez. <laughs> Smooth. You okay, guys. Scrubs. Sandpapered out on Sunday with us. The Temple of Smooth. The sermons are coming. Um, thank you all for hanging out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Catch Bye. you on the flip side.